Well, here we are. It's a very, very, very sad moment here. Let's take a look. Uh, I uh -huh. mean, hi, Jessica. I, here we all are. This is it. We actually have to face this thing. Uh, a man died last week, and we should, yeah. po we should possibly be sadder than we are. Maybe we need some music in order to... fact is, is a man is dead so we're gonna let this morose music play in front of this tombstone for a few minutes in silence rest in peace And that was our moment of somewhat silence for the fallen Alex Thompson. I know, Jessica and Walsh, I know that you guys have been broken up about it all last week. Before we even went on the air, we were getting testy with each other. It's just, uh, there's a lot of emotions that are hard to really... I'm confused. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a rough week. It's been a, it's been a rough time dealing with, with things. He's... I think we're all very conflicted over what happened. We're all very conflicted. A man has died. It's uh, let, let's go back and, and actually watch what happened last week in in the Mr. Bianca sod death match, where Zoning <laughs> Zing. I don't know if Zoning Zing killed Alex Thompson, but he definitely he can he contributed. It's a man. There's a lot of questions. There's like, a lot of questions hanging about around our necks here. This is an albatross around our necks, and we need to... I think we need to not point fingers 
like at letting Bianca, the referee, for not checking on the man ever. You know that that we need to not point fingers at him. Right. I would say that this he, zoning saying is possibly looking at a manslaughter two car charge. Um, it, what it's... about Bike though? He was under Bike's supervision and care. It, he was. <laughs> this is why it's so terrible. Here we go. As Slutting Bianca watches on in in this hardcore match that went for over an hour, yeah. Technology Cooper stomps Alex Thompson balls. They throw him out of the ring, and Zoning <laughs> saying onto a chair, and then Alex Thompson sucking that sod into his mouth, asphyxiating himself to death. As Slutting Bianca gets down to check on him. We see sledding, call the match, and just walk away. Let's see it again in slow motion. Ugh. Sledding Bianca, for some reason, forcing technology to come back into the grass. <laughs> this is just so sad. The kids had to be on his grass. That was... <laughs> yeah. The sod is expensive, and he wanted to get the best use out of it before, you know, before he bought new one, new sod, and, uh, fuck, you know? Yeah. And here we are. I... The bells are ringing. Let's 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 be, let's take a moment. Shh. Man, I'm just depressed tonight. I am just completely bummed that's why it, it, it's it's really it's time <laughs> it's time that we just move past it uh work through it as the kids say and just open it up we we no. gotta scramble we, we we're all struggling scramble. together scramble. We, gotta, we gotta we just yeah we just gotta push on just gotta push on stronger together i know that uh, merkel's here uh generic tag chudley murph all you guys it's I know this is hard on all of us. I I personally feel responsible for making people watch a man die in the ring. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's it's hard. It was hard for us too. I mean, the smell was pretty bad. The the the, the sod itself was kind of smelly, but uh, you know, you could tell when he went, he shit himself. It was My just, God, it was there's terrible. no reason to even go to this place. I, I'm just trying to, you know, work through this in my own way. I think that we're Mark gonna have to work through. touching memorial poem. In wow. The chat. Some strong stuff. Uh, Someone uh, please read the poem. I would love to hear it. Really? You want to hear it out loud? Because we can. I, I <laughs> if if like we it, shouldn't it, hear it out loud, then that's also <laughs> fine. Not I memorialize him. It's uh, with deepest regrets and tears that are soaked. I'm sorry to hear that Alex finally croaked. He lived a full life on his own terms, so he'll be buried and eaten by worms. If I could have fans as stupid as you, I'd have wished for cancer, so I would die too. So be brave and be strong, get your life on track, because the old bastard's dead and he ain't never coming back. Wow, that's we My god, Murph, we appreciate that. Someone is bleeding! Someone is bleeding in That was the not Murph, that was Merkel. Please, yeah, show that's... proper respect. Murph. Uh, yeah, different Murph. people, different people have different Maybe they should be a tag team. Yeah, don't, get, don't, 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 don't make bike try and get our audience members to fight. That's uh, something that we definitely do. I mean, we we already had one audience member fight, and uh, it's yeah, look how it turned out. I think it's uh, I think Ito's bleeding, huh? Yep, Ito is bloody, and it's very rare actually that you see someone busted open in one of these opening scrambles. I feel bad for the fixers who have to come in now. They're already they're running back and forth with their GoPro headsets on. They're trying to do these different camera angles. And then well, we've been we, on the same one for a while. We, we were like that, you know. I feel like Let Lou took a little bit of a sit down. Break. Well, the the issue here is that in this opening scramble, it it, it seems like Xylophonus really wants to focus on one person, so the wide angle is the only way to go for it in this, you know. Oh, absolutely. Well, as, as we know, the, the fixers, I, I don't know if it's fully been set up, but I think the fixers might be getting a third member, so the, the camera angle is going to get a little more uh, Yeah, I mean, seamless. last night we saw them uh, making overtures at Dougie Middle. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not sure if he's going to take up the, uh, the offer of joining their prestigious group, but, uh, you know, if he does, he's got a lot of work ahead of him for no pay at all. 
It's paid with experience and bread balls. I'm and surprised that we're seeing... Spaces. We're seeing these men beat the hell out of each other. We haven't seen a single person eliminated yet. I was gonna say, I hadn't noticed anyone getting eliminated. So. You know, there's been some rumblings over Yasana Hill and Brick Roberts uh, kind of brush it, bristling against each other. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm watching some stretching oh. going on, some family stretching, you know? like. Oh, and wow, the champion, October Schwinn, is the first to get eliminated. Look at him oh, daintily walk away. He to. can't even believe it. He's not even looking back. He refuses He's to <laughs> He's done. He's done. We missed the actual elimination due to a camera cut. Yep, so. that's... That's what we're uh, fixer style. Yep. God, immediately Ito is just bleeding all over the place. In, in honor of, of Alex. Look at Ron. Ron's not even wearing the armband. And uh, who else is in? We have to really point out these terrible people for not. This is I think Esposito might be a. Uh... Have, have forgone yeah. to Yes, as if you guys can see in the chat, there are many... Oh, God, Ron Luce has been knocked out. Now Sledding's checking on him. He doesn't want to make sure that... He wants to make sure that another person isn't possibly killed in his Jesus, ring. At least you checked on him, you know? You did like, check on him, but at, at what point... Do he's you... not... No one's he's coming not... down to, to give him medical attention. This is terrible. At least push his body out there. Nobody learned a damn thing. This like, is this. terrible. <laughs> Meanwhile, like we got a new dead man, possibly, hopefully not, in, laying in the ring. While these people, as you can see, they're wearing black armbands in remembrance yeah. of the wall. But everyone is very conflicted about that fact. Most like, right, Lewis is on his back. He should be able to breathe. He he sucking true. down sod. Absolutely <laughs> true. Oh. Turgid yeah. Delmonico also uh, apparently did not. Lost Ron's body. Which is terrible. Richard also not wearing the armbands, I guess he's not close to Alex. My <laughs> god, now Dubois <laughs> is lying in a pool of blood, also knocked out. What the hell oh is my happening? God. Like, this god. is... Ito is... Ito is hurting people tonight. He, uh, he's trying to take advantage he's, of this. He's working through his grief in a very negative way. Yeah, he's, he's trying he's, to... He's at the anger stage, I believe. You know, Zoning Zhang, uh, one of his good friends, basically killed the guy, and now he's trying to one-up him, I think. I don't know. Dubois lost the .TV title last night. This is a bad weekend for to be a Dubois. You know, I tell you what, it seems like a weird weekend to even hold a title. It makes me wonder what's going to happen on tonight. We got some major matches coming up. I mean, let's be real here. Alex Thompson, he's not alive, and he is still the hardcore champion because that match went to a draw. I mean, this is some weird stuff. Going on. That is an excellent point, Walsh. And I, the, the chat room, you guys need to remember that Alex the Wall may be a dead man, but he's still the hardcore champion. And that puts everybody in a very... Oh my god, Ito! Whoa! Oh my god. What is this man thinking? Oh my god. I don't know what's going on here. Oh my god. <laughs> did, did let loose like... <laughs> <laughs> He's falling down the stairs. <laughs> uh, Ito is leaving too. What is happening? God. Xylophonus <laughs> 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 is freaking out. He doesn't know what's going He's on. Xylophonus is having a very hard time right now. This is not. This is not good. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> this is Zito is walking out. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he disappeared. He disappeared. He's in the red room. <laughs> the ghosts are definitely back. This, this is, is definitely <laughs> because of. We've been having weird stuff happen ever since he's died. Why are they pointing? <laughs> just, what do xylophonists <laughs> and immediately? What what do they know? Do they Why they are they pointing the cameras here? Do they expect Alex Thompson to walk out that that ramp. Oh my God! Is Alex Thompson going to walk out this ramp? We're seeing multiple different angles. I am very concerned. I'm trying to text Bike right now to see what the hell is happening, and this is crazy. 
we could we're we're missing <laughs> what seems to be an excellent match. Uh, I you know I don't I don't remember who's left. I don't know what's. What, I think Hasanafu might still be there. Brick might still be there. <laughs> we could we could be seeing some amazing. The crowd is going nuts right now. I I don't know if anyone else can hear the crowd, but they they seem extremely happy. I I, I wonder if the GoPro is. is it, it seems seemingly not on a person right wow, now. Wow, 2.9. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I, uh, uh, no one really knows what's going on, and I think that we may just have to hope for this, this to end. Oh, wow, another close pinfall there. Now we know, um... That sometimes these camera modes, the, the, getting a cameraman is just uh, a liability. It's yeah. No, try try camera six maybe. Nope. It's wow, like we can see a little bit on the jumbotron. Asanafil wins. We caught it right at the end. Asanafil, I think, pinned a brick Roberts. What an incredible, incredible night. A history-making night as the Sonophil <laughs> breathes heavily. Oh Actually, I, I, just, uh, I just got a message. Um, apparently, they're kind of squeamish about showing those people in the ring, especially after we showed a dead person. <laughs> My god, we've we've gone through a lot of stuff. Yeah, you Sonophil. <sighs> I, I he, have... pinned, he pinned his uncle. This is terrible. This, these guys... Uh, as part of our ongoing we, uh, thinking about Alex Thompson, we're going to actually go back and watch that famous Alex Thompson movie. Um, uh, I just want to say that's Asana Phil's fourth scramble championship. That's his fourth championship. As, as Murph says, the best ever. So in remembrance, Alex Wall Thompson, 1972 to 2018. Father. Husband, murderer, SCFL hardcore champion. Current SCFL hardcore champion. Just From what I'm being told, there are people checking on our knocked out competitors both of them seem to be doing okay at the moment um we do not have more dead bodies thank god um i don't think this league could handle the lawsuits and now we're seeing uh in a very early matchup freddie fisher <laughs> Is, is if you missed it late last night, he became the new dot .TV champion. The belly of the wannabe. That. In about nine minutes, he took out <clears throat> Dubois. Took out Dubois. Which, yeah. Dubois, who is, is hurt. Absolutely incredible. And Puncho Baggins is a hell of a fighter, but, I mean, look at Freddie Fisher. Just look at this man. He looks great as a dot .TV champion. He yeah. looks so happy. He, he, you know, he's had some rough times in his life. Uh, he lost his job as a substitute history teacher. Um, you know, his wife kicked him out of the, the house, which mostly he was upset about losing his garage where he makes his, uh, his homebrew and his, uh, his homemade sausages. The guy likes making good food for himself, what can you say? Uh, yeah. He's wearing his armbands, though. Pancho isn't. Pancho is, uh, defying this. This, well, not everybody wants to really be like be honoring this murderer. And you know, I, I think I, I I thought it was mandatory. You know, the the love bike I, at the end of the text message seemed kind of urgent. I I thought that bike only bought like a couple <clears> of <throat> dozen pairs, and maybe Puncho got to the ring or to the arena a little late, and they uh, were taken. Be. I'm not sure. He's got black gloves, and he's got his little, like, dick tattoo. I mean, that, that should be enough <laughs> to remember somebody by. I'm very inter interested to see if, if Freddie Fisher can turn around after a nine-minute knockout win 
um, against Dubois. If he can come around and just oh, immediately... Well, it wasn't a knock at it. He won by Fez Press. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he, laid on really? top. he laid on top, man, for a three count. It was pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Any hurt suffered by Dubois was, was purely uh, emotional and psychological. Yeah. Dubois wasn't expecting it to happen. You know, he just wasn't ready for it. He didn't even know, like, he got the text about five minutes before the match saying that we're we're having a show, you need to defend this title. So yeah. Completely out of sorts. Man, Headbutts this is, right in front of yeah. our entire table. Just terrible. Brutal, brutal. Well, those that, that's the Spanish and the French in this oh. team. Yeah, we're we we're, we we're up on the balcony. Yeah. yeah we, don't, we don't talk to these people. A bike insists oh. on it. A lot yeah, of bike, action bike. on the outside here. Oh, he's letting his not bothering to, to count. Yeah, he's, he hasn't done it in weeks now. I think he just forgot that wrestling matches have count outs. Although he did it in the the match that the wall died in, exactly. Because he wanted them in their, he wanted them on the sod. Yep. <laughs> he wanted them to aerate the sod with their with their shoes. They yeah. Were you know, to wear cleats that night. I found out today that uh, you know sod can live on like concrete or like even a, say a wrestling ring for a month. Really? Why is yeah. that? Yeah. Because there's enough dirt and stuff already in like, you know, as a part of the whole thing yeah you know it's just it's just it's just compacted dirt and grass Ooh, so. onto the chair my god this has actually been a really wild five minutes yeah freddy is getting uh, getting pretty beat up i think yeah you know, he had a good he had a great showing last night but uh you know i think the sense of anger are too much for him i might have put everything oh. into that that match and now he's yeah uh, he might need a couple of weeks off yeah he's not the type of guy who can fight <laughs> often um, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he doesn't usually have uh, showings like that. He doesn't get opportunities like this. He's a man who, uh, you know, he's kind of an idiot. Well, I mean, Puncho is also uh, not a bright gentleman. N neither of these men are particularly bright, but they're hell of fighters. I mean, look at this. Well, you know, Freddie did go to college, but yeah. Oh, there's that Fez Press. I think does a lot of damage, emotionally, physically. I'm actually, uh, I, I feel like this is, Freddy, Freddy's had quite the performance here already. I, I personally, I'm kind of becoming a fan? I don't know. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, if, if Bike calls you up and gives you an opportunity, you got to take it. You got to do the best that you can. And he's, I mean, he's being impressive here. We never see him in singles competition. We always see him in scrambles, pretty much. It's odd to me that he's oh. wearing, like, the two black armbands. Like, <laughs> like I wonder what his feelings... I wonder what the locker room is feeling. Because <clears throat> I could tell you, as an announcer, even then, it was very distracting to have Alex Thompson come in. He gets wheeled in like Hannibal Lecter. He's all chained yeah, up. He, he, you know, so he's, he's much on one of those, like... He's basically on like a dolly, like he yeah. was all like, like wrapped <laughs> up in these big straps. He's got that mask on his face, like a hand animal. truck. Yeah, it's a hand truck. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was really distracting. A bunch of gassed out, man. This is crazy. Freddie. Freddie just... Fisher gassed out too. He always does. Yeah, these guys are. <laughs> these guys are not built for 15 minutes, which is <laughs> really sad. Like this is this is not a title that is. is you know, supposed to really tax your cardiovascular system. Well, that's tr well. The thing is, is about dot TV. It's like people are rushing to to get the finish, and then they get exhausted. You know. Yeah. You try and get all your. You have to try and get all your shit in as quick as you can, so you can make that make that pinfall. Don't say that around Freddy. He'll make a joke about pushing your shit in, and then he gets suspended because that's how he always loses his job. My God. <laughs> By saying something that he doesn't know what it really means. With four minutes to go, these men are exhausted. They're just colliding into each other now. Yeah, they can't even raise their arms up to do like a lariat or a. There's that this. So wow. Attacking. I think that it's really underrated that, uh, it, and it's very rarely mentioned that these men are kicking each other with, with shoes and boots on. <laughs> it's, it's. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm surprised that we haven't seen more dust, frankly. Uh, I mean, the fact that Alec, or, sorry, Puncho is. is Going full force with mounted headbutts quite often is uh, telling that 
or it's not challenging, but it's, it's dangerous for, for both men. Whoa! Wow. Freddy Fisher is the .TV GOAT! Wow. Tap out, oh my god. Finished him. What but the hell? Jesus. This is what I'm talking about. This is the beauty of SCFL. We never know <laughs> what the hell is coming. Like, who would have thought that Freddy Fisher would go on now to tie the most amount of .TV finishes in history? In history! I'm I'm shocked, personally. Keep in mind, tonight, ladies and he, gentlemen... I believe the only man to actually get a, a non-draw, non-cage escape finish in a .TV yeah, match. Yeah, absolutely. Incredible. <laughs> and his first title defense, too. Tonight, the tag titles are on the line. <laughs> As is the... that is that Petrov? Where in the back? Oh God, he's riding the Confederate monument. <sighs> he's uh, probably very proud of it. But Jesus Supreme and Sander Suzuki are challenging Petrov and Federal Bell, the tag champions, for the tag titles. That's that's a pretty damn big deal, I would say. Uh, these guys have traditionally, much like much like Ichabod, they've never really gone on to, to, to defend a lot, or often, wouldn't you say? Am, am I being out of line there? They've defended more than Ichabod ever did. Yeah, that's true. But it was against the Fixers. Like, who, <laughs> who, who cares about <laughs> the, the Fixers? To be, fair, to be fair, the Fixers won that spot. I mean, that that was, sadly, the, the level of contendership out there. I mean, I don't think we'll ever see that again. Who knows? I mean, the fixers might also have get reinvigorated by having Go Crows and Dougie Metal hanging out with them. That is true. And then I'd like to to go back to the Alex Thompson for the final time. We're gonna watch Alex Thompson's highlight reel in honor of Alex Thompson. This whole show is a memorial to discuss his well just to remember. Very sad. Very sad. So now, what we have coming up, Jessica Walsh. We have a we have a tournament. We've got a tournament coming up here, and and this is going uh, to be, we we've we've consolidated quite a few, um, different belts, and so now, we have the U.S. title created by wow. Xylophonist. <clears throat> wow. Uh, I don't know why he was tasked to create this, but uh. Yeah. Well, I know why he's he's a Bianchi, but right. ultimately he there's... was told, "Hey, we need a new title. We got rid of SWA. We got rid of S1. We need like Walsh. Uh, you you were in Jessica, and you guys were in the press conference that nobody saw. Um, like, what was <laughs> the the impetus for for this for for the creation of this this little bit lower title? 
Well, the the idea is that we have so much talent. I mean, we just saw Freddie Fisher, a man never really given a chance. You give him one chance, and man, he ran with it. So the idea is that we have so much. We have such a rich roster full of talented individuals uh, that aren't particularly part of a tag team or a trios, or they aren't in a steel drum band, and uh, you know they need an opportunity too to shine and uh, they don't quite fit in with the dot TV title with the 50 minute time limit. They, uh, they don't quite, they're not, you know, there's only one challenger for the world title at a time. So uh, the U S title, the, uh, the impetus was we, you know, some of these guys deserve recognition and uh, a spot on the cards uh, to show, to shine. Right. And uh, I'm interested to see that these tournaments that we have set up are incredible. Yeah. They're, it's full of talent. Um, we think that you guys, the fans, haven't really been able to see. Our roster is huge. It's almost 80 fighters, as you guys know. And, and someone like Offers, who is so caught up in that .TV world, where it's like you can't finish someone in 15 minutes, but you're still a great fighter. And he came so close. He absolutely deserves to be in with this. And same with Chucky Murphy, who is, uh, he's almost been a world champion. If not, well, he's has the he? First, he was a first he's world the first champion. Guy. Yeah. And, uh... He's He's for, former little no champion. Both, both of these men are have a lot of uh, tournament experience as well. So yeah, they know how point. to pace themselves for for a long drawn out you know night of fighting. Um, Oliver Thompson uh, beat beat Alex Thompson right in in the finals Thompson of the dot TV of the dot TV uh, title tournament. Offers you know I think he's I think he's finally getting over. Um, the the dot TV title after this you know a, this is a good distraction for him. In a lot of ways, I would hate to be yeah. like the dot TV championship is taxing on everybody. Whereas the you got to defend it every show. You got to defend yeah. it every show. There, but there's also yeah. like if you're the champion, of course you want to finish people. But there's also this like I have time to waste to get away with it. Yeah. Um, oh, Chucky Murphy. Um, Neither of these men cared yes. for Alex, though, judging by their lack of armbands. That's it. Sledding, sledding feeling no guilt, he's not wearing an armband either. <laughs> yeah, he. I've been told that Sledding has an armband underneath his shirt. Oh. This is uh, quite... <laughs> so the U.S. title is going to be just underneath the world title, correct? Yeah. You know, it's just your standard second tier... Um, you know, U.S. or Intercontinental Champion kind of thing. Um, you know, it's it's these guys who are definitely worthy of holding or challenging for the world title, but uh, not everybody can challenge at the same time. So, I mean, you know, now that Bike's champion, who knows what will happen with that title. But, um, yeah, I mean, next week he has to defend it against Ichabod in a rematch. And uh, actually tonight we're going to actually see sledding in action against... Uh, Ron Harris, the brother-in-law of Ichabod, who was refereeing the big title match, and uh, controversy abound there. I would like to say that tonight's card, which I'll tell Let Lou to put in right now uh, into the chat room, I would like to, to point out that tonight's <coughs> card is incredible. It's yeah. too good. It's uh, it, This is honestly pay-per-view uh, every other month level fantastic uh, like the, the the referees battling for for bike and ichabod's rematch we got this u.s title tournament the dot tv champion the hardcore tag championships are on the line um and, and we're gonna try and figure out what's going on I, we know that sledding is going to go to try and figure out what's going to happen between technology and zoning and alex thompson uh wow. may he rest in peace for the hardcore title no one really knows Alex Thompson's the hardcore champion. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, you know, like, Offers uh, offers apparently didn't feel like honoring neither one of these men decided to honor him. And uh, I'm, you know, I that's their decision, man. This is a free country. Absolutely. Do whatever you want. Like, murder people and then still have a job. It's terrible. I'm sure he's not the only one. I mean, maybe not the only one with such a big spotlight on. Well, I say big. I don't. <laughs> and the thing is, so, it, it, like, regarding this card, Chudley Cannons in the chat room says that it's a stacked card. I mean, there's just so much on the line. 
We yeah. don't usually have like four title shots. We saw Scramble Madness, the ghosts strike again. Like, yeah. we, we, who knows what's control. going on? Uh, it's one of those things where it really bothers me that it comes up week in and week out as an employee of this place that we have to um, discuss like a supernatural element <laughs> to what is happening in our lives. But this is what we're how we live now. Uh, it's sad. These people are not paid enough to deal with ghosts. Yeah, is Let Lou, is he on like an iPad or something? Like running around the arena? Probably. Did Mike, did Mike invest in, in, in like a tablet or does he just... I'm, you know, I mean, that's, that's great. The kid can multitask now. Rolling up bread balls, he's operating a GoPro that's on his head, he's got a tablet. Oh, God, Chucky Murphy's kicks, those combos. How are the Sons of Anger doing lately, Cheska? I know that you're their beat reporter. Oh my God, Chucky <coughs> Murphy's busted open now. Wow. Um, I mean, it's it's a lot of change going on. I mean, uh, you know, Dougie Metal kind of showed up last night. Uh, Rat was not too pleased. Uh, of course, Rastaban's now. Rat. <laughs> Rastaban is now a member of the Steel Drum Band. I know a lot of people didn't catch that, but uh, that happened. Um, so it's it's just a, a weird time for for this group. I mean. So many people are, you know, there, there's, there's talks of people splitting off and kind of forming their own groups. Wow. <laughs> and I just saw Jackie Murphy run head first into yeah. the turnbuckle. Uh, that and so Offers is right there to take advantage of it. Yeah, okay. uh, Offers is beating the hell out of Chucky Murphy, I'm surprised. I actually, uh, Chucky Murphy's a b legit badass, yeah. so you know I love Offers, but I thought Chucky had this. Offers looks like he has a little bit of a spray tan issue here, but... Oh, really? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, he's got, like, some weird, uh, you know, some, some tan lines on his face and something there. He's, uh, having yeah. a tough look. Well, I, I think that last week something happened to almost the entire SCFL. Like, blood looks different. I yeah. just don't know. <clears throat> Could be the, the, the theoretical V-Sync. No. Oh, going up top. Oh. Oh no, this could be it. No, wow, Chucky did get it. Damn it. Man, I knew he could pull it out of nowhere. Big roll. Big roll up. Big Damn fruit it. roll up. In 13 minutes. I did not expect that. Damn it. That was pretty incredible. I mean, that was that was a tense match. These guys, uh, I, I thought Offers was going to take it. What a bummer. Well, next up, it's Wim, kickboxer. Yeah. But now, explain this to me. We've seen a little bit of Gene Green recently. Yeah. It, hanging out with a certain group of people. Yeah, I believe he is a part of the alt right. Uh, you know, deplorables, whatever you want to call them. Uh, he is their fourth man. What, where did this come from? I don't know. I mean, we saw that photograph from, uh, I guess that was what Charlottesville last year, where, you know, you had Ichabod, you had uh, Federal Bell, and you had Petro. But then if you look at the left, you could see Gene Green was there. I don't think he was there as part of the group, I think he was just there. My um, gosh. You know? <laughs> that's, that's not good. Yeah. So uh, I, I think these guys share an affinity for their politics. So is their... Gene Green, he's an official member now? Yeah. He's, I mean, uh, awesome. I believe Ichabod tweeted earlier about how he was excited about Gene Green going for the U.S. title. Whoa. Which, I mean, let's be real here. Ichabod is not a person who uh, cares about other people, so... <laughs> Now, Wim, 
is one of those fighters who's been a, a elite kickboxer. Gene Green just has like that big punch, even though he he's been uh, he's been doing some interesting stuff of late. Fighting Dubois and guarding Green. Yeah. Generic tag says, "Let's go, Wim." Wim has been around for quite a while. He's 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 just a solid fighter. Yeah, he very much is. A Dutch kickboxer, kind of, what, kind of like a uh, boss room, kind of. Yeah, I mean it's, uh, you know, he's definitely uh, he trained with uh, Dirty Bob Schreiber, the famous kickboxer submission guy and uh, MMA fighter from the '90s. He's, uh, you know, he's a very proud Dutch fighter. Uh, he's uh, been around the block. He he has definitely the Dutch style with the the earmuffs up with, with the way he blocks and then the thrown combos that end with a low kick. He's, he's very by the books and he's very loud. Always Oss. always making us. Yeah, he's Which, uh, us is uh, Dutch for hello, correct? <laughs> I don't think... No, it's... it's well... Wow. <laughs> Both of these uh, men sporting the uh, Alex is, Thompson armband. Oss is his, uh, giving respect to his Kyokushin karate background. Because that's what all the, uh, that's what all the Kyokushin karatikas, uh, would say. Does it mean it's not Dutch for hello? <laughs> I mean, he just, he's like Anyang. Anyang. <laughs> <laughs> Anyang. Go see yourself a Star Wars. <laughs> wow, well, Wim just ate that big left hand from... That's like what Gene Green does. He's got that big left hand. He's knocked out consulate soccer dads with that up in the bleachers. He One time he punched a guy at the top of the bleachers. It was terrible. Terrible, just rolling down the aluminum. So, see, Gene Green now is also becoming a weird thing. In SCFL, we, we oh see yeah, he, he, he he's tagged is. on to like yeah the biggest possible group, <laughs> like these terrible men. You know, and he's trying to bring a title into this to, into their group, right? The uh, U.S. You title. know, Ichabod, Ichabod just lost the world title. He has a chance to get it back next week, and dear God, I hope he just. Even though bike holding it is problematic, um, you know, Ichabod holding it is eighteen thousand times worse. People will pay money to see Mike Bianca, uh, the, the kind-hearted, aloof gentleman. But people, you know, I don't know. People want to pay money to see Ichabod lose, I suppose. Ugh, that forearm. I would love to see a Wim to Jim, Chucky Murphy final. I don't know. Uh, you guys can't pronounce his name very well. Nyman. Yeah, it's Nyman. Wim Nyman. Yeah, it's, you ever it's like just, just, just imagine if you're talking about the science guy Bill and his last name and uh, the the gender that he's decided upon. <laughs> I I just think of legendary uh, Dutch uh, grappler Hans Nyman. No one knows who that is. Oh, oh okay. look at that axe kick! I I a lot of hurt, a lot of hurt being put on them here. Yeah, both men are going big. Wow. I, I like that uh, Gene doesn't seem phased by some of these moves. His kicks, he's just like, he's all about just punishing. Yeah, look at that hairy chest. My god. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have anything to do with that. Like, you have to grapple with this guy, like, his head gets pushed into his weird, bushy chest. Oh, thank you. God, he it's might a, break that arm. essentially a pilt. <laughs> A lot of feeling out there. I think Nyman pretty much has this in the bag. You know, it looks like he's definitely winning he's here. He's dominating. But, you know, we've seen Gene Green pull out brass knuckles. Oh. And, you know, out of his trunks That's and true. pull off victories. So I think anything's possible here. Three. Ten minutes to go. Whoa, man. Wim wow. is showing his power, just chucking him across the ring. Awesome. Truly, truly, like these suplexes, I, I never knew Wim had it in him. Yeah, he's, uh... Ah, that backdrop suplex hold is 
That's that's the move he likes to finish with. It's too bad he was in the ropes. You know, we know that sledding really, ever since that incident that happened with Hero and Bike, he's very uh, he's very up on his rope breaks. Oh my God! Another huge throw. Yeah, that's that's all because of this. I, I mean, if Bike's able to retain against Ichabod next week, that I, I think realistically, I could see it being Hero maybe. Well, there's been talk of uh, Philly and Peter Collins That's maybe right. uh, fighting for a contendership spot, but Hero, I, I feel like he has a claim. You know right. what I mean? He's, yep, I totally I, agree. I mean, if that rematch had actually gone off without a hitch, if Ichabod hadn't come out and tried to shave mm. off his, his shaved off legs <laughs> mustache, like that would have we would have had an answer. I've always wondered why Gene Green doing a little dance there. I wonder why Ichabod never shaved off Hero's goatee. I don't know. I, I think I think he just didn't have time. The heat of the moment. And he was pissed at bike, you know? And then keep in mind here that Sledding... Oh, 2.9. Sledding has a fight tonight. A fight that matters a yeah. lot to him. And he's out here reffing. He wants to he wants to referee the rematch. And Ron Harris... Uh, his Ichabod's first time brother in law yeah, he doesn't. He hates Ichabod apparently. And then he, you know, he refereed the match, did a fast count, oh. and you know, he marred the bike's title win. And I think sledding Gene feels Green. like he can do better. Gene, Gene Green wins. There he is. That shoulder tackle. In just about the same amount of time that it took for Chucky to win. So both uh, guys. Three seconds longer. Oh wow! Really? Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Incredible. And now, let us. Look at the sadness that is Alex Thompson. Or actually, you know what? <laughs> let's have some happiness. Uh, let's. Well, uh... We have to do. We have to finish this block of the tournament. I thought. Oh, actually, yes. But I wanted to check something on the tanning lotion. But yeah, you're right. We'll just do that. Tanning lotion. <laughs> tanning lotion. Chucky Murphy versus Gene Green. We are robbed of our kick fight that I thought we'd be getting, but uh, it should be pretty interesting, nevertheless. You thought it was going to be Chucky versus Wynn? That's what I was expecting. Yeah, me too. I have Chucky. I personally I hope, hope Chucky's in a I, I hope Chucky wins. But who knows anymore? This is like Bizarro World. Why is that Bizarro World? You know, Alex Thompson's dead. We're wearing armbands for him. Uh, Gene Green is, is in the alt-right. I, I, I don't know. Everything's off. You know, sledding Bianca didn't get charged with with uh, manslaughter. Now it's interesting that uh, you know, early when when Chucky won the the tournament, he was accused of being on steroids, whereas Gene Green admits <laughs> to being on. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of steroid use in this ring. I I would I would I surmise. Well, who really knows what other type of steroids are being used? Do you think Chucky's on steroids? Is that what you're saying? Oh, he was accused of that. Was he? All of Sons of Anger were accused when they had a, oh, that's an, right. early, an early uh, opening, you know, couple of weeks of solid, big, you know, performances. Just incredible bodies. They just looked incredible. <laughs> uh, Murph yeah, says, heart says Chucky, fun. head says Gene. Heart says Chucky. It's just interesting. I've I've heard there's talks of potentially uh, in, to, to to appease someone like Murph that there might be uh, an option for people to bet on the uh, outcomes. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's gonna go forward or not, but that's something I've I've been uh, trying to dig more into. Uh, that would be very interesting. I think that we could do that for sure. We're all about. Uh, betting here, although we we do know there's people like Kelly Kelly that have problems with betting. That's true. Now keep I mean, in mind he has, that he has problems with a lot of things. So, so, so next week, just like this week, we're doing another the, the the second half of this tournament with another eight gentlemen, and then they will fight to be, become the first U.S. champions because 
keep in mind here, Garden Green's gotten the hell beaten out of him. I don't think that the idea of something as patriotic as a U.S. title matters as much to the Sons of Anger compared to the alt-right that very much want to get their hands on anything, you know, showing pride in their, na <coughs> in their nation, no matter in, oh, a, in any form. Oh, yeah, he G wants that title so bad. Yeah, because, I, I mean, he's motivated for the first time in his life. Like, he's out here now on steroids wrestling often, which means he's getting into relatively good shape. <laughs> Unlike Brick Roberts. Yeah. Right. Brick Roberts, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's. It's, it's going to be interesting how him and his alleged nephew uh, patch up that relationship after uh, Asana Phil defeated him to win his fourth scramble title earlier tonight. Maybe the ghosts didn't want us to see that for a reason. But also, we did hear from, you know, standards and practices that they didn't want to see the dead bo or the injured men after what we just saw. Yeah, I mean, the, the crowd clearly was into it, but, uh... Yeah, the yeah. crowd was into seeing... I don't, I don't want to I don't want to say I that... I don't want to say that Asanaphil and Brick, you know, conspired to allow Asanaphil to win again. I'm not saying that, that anything like that happened, but wow. considering, considering we have no footage of it, you, you don't know. That's true. We don't know how that ended. It just ended. You know? At some we point, just... I hope Jensen Woods, he's got he a... Has to yeah. He has to do his job. Like, his job was to Where fix has it. he been? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he got he got hurt once, and he's just doesn't care anymore? Are you scared? I think, I think he might be scared. scared. I think he might be scared. Applebee's has that unlimited appetizers thing, and I heard he's really been into that. What is that? You just get, you order appetizers, and you just get an unlimited amount of them. You can just order an unlimited amount, and they just cost, you know, like for 10, to $15 ten, each. 10 bucks, you get, like... <laughs> You, like for ten bucks, you get like potato skins, and you can just keep getting potato skins or wings or whatever. My God. Oh yeah, uh, I've I've seen Chudley Cannon's in person put away roughly seventeen plates of appetizers before. Wow. It's all you Ooh. can eat for one price. That's that's a hell of a deal. I think it's Applebee's. I'm not sure. It could be I, another chain restaurant. It is, is it Applebee's. <laughs> I remember because I remember this because of uh, well, there was a, there was a Gawker article about it. How long has this been going on for? Years. Really? I don't know if there's an Applebee's near me. It was tough. We were like happy enough that we had the Chili's to go to for the opening Olympic ceremony. This baseball bat worries me. Oh wait, this was I thought it's TGI Fridays. It's TGI Fridays or Applebee's. I mean, I all we know, look at that dance. I think Gene Green's gonna be going get some unlimited apps, no matter yeah. what. After this, well, I, I think the article I was thinking about was about the the TGI Fridays unlimited uh, apps. Yeah, yeah, Chudley Cannon confirms it. So I was I was looking at this. The, unlimited uh, pasta at Olive Garden. Yeah. Oh my God, he just. Hit Chucky Murphy in the head of the baseball bat. Oh my! Jesus oh my! Jesus Christ! God! <laughs> what? This is terrible. This is the, they take it too far. All right. The all oh right. Oh my God! Like What's this wrong is wrong with them. Everything. <laughs> like why is this allowed in this league that people and just take a baseball from, bat? Like to go from getting hit in the head with a baseball bat to then following to, to responding by using a dragon screw leg whip is, is such <laughs> such such a de-escalation of violence. Yeah. I mean, the guy Twister Pressy it was impressive, but you know he I think he's loopy because he's so in the room. Look like, at this. Like imagine like how is this a normal thing in life to just. We're gonna have this Whack this, this competition, like. <laughs> so I'm gonna get on a bat and. It shouldn't be legal. Sledding, I, sledding, sledding is. He's gonna let another man die in the ring, and that's again. the worst thing imaginable. Like he's, he, like these people's safety, uh, is it are Chucky, in his hands? It seems that Chucky's heard Joe Rogan say that getting hit with a, a strong, you know, Muay Thai or, or whatever kick is, is equivalent to uh, being hit with a baseball bat. And so that's he, that's that's his answer is just to kick Gene Green as hard as he can. But uh, still not. We're kind of just chasing each other around here. These men have fought <laughs> a lot tonight. <laughs> like here we are. Like they've all, both fought for over twenty, like twenty six, twenty seven minutes at this point. Yeah. Oh. So this is a, about as long as how both first round matchups went. 
Yeah, right. Uh, 13, you know, 13, 26, and 1329. So uh, we're we're in un one, you know, uncharted territories here for these these oh. guys who don't have the biggest gas tanks. This might be it. This might be it. Kickboxing. Oh. Chucky was was part of a group called the Cardio Killers, uh, based on trying to find someone who would teach them to ride bicycles because they had uh, such poor gas tanks. <laughs> oh my God, Chucky! Incredible. Inzaguri. Jean Green just pulled out two shoulder blocks. Give you a little kick in the head. Wow. Oh, this is a war. Oh God, the baseball bat. Oh my God, no. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. This is, this is terrible. Chucky basically jumped in the bat. He was going for yeah. maybe a, a Fedor Olovsky with a baseball bat. And he's still going. I I applaud his ridiculous ability. Well, it's Chucky Murphy. He's a badass. He just oh. he, he's gonna be like I mean, we're gonna negatively affect him at some point. Wearing orange boots and, and purple uh, <laughs> boxing shorts is is pretty you know ballsy in its own right. Oh my god! Oh, speaking, speaking of ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 2.9. Yoshi is Tonic is, uh, is devastating. Yeah. You wouldn't expect I'm it from a from a man who looks as rough from him, but he has some finesse in him. This is incredible that these men have fought so many times tonight, and they're they're putting it all on the line. Baseball bat hits. Chucky was cut earlier in the night. He super glued it. I, I feel like Gene looks really gassed. He looks gassed. He's not used to going this long. Like he, I mean, he hit that big leg drop and he couldn't follow up and go for a pin. He's hurt. Both guys are about like the thirty plus minute mark. Thirty-one, yeah. thirty-two, almost. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh. Gene Green is like you know he. I'm, I'm shocked he doesn't have the baseball bat again. He loves that damn thing. <laughs> I mean, both guys seem to be signaling that the match is over, and the yeah. other guy is proving them wrong <laughs> frequently. Oh yeah, god, he's going really... back for the baseball bat. Oh my god, go to a wide shot, Letlo, you can't... Oh, thank god. <laughs> we can't show another man get killed on this air. This is we terrible! Off of Twitch. I know, Twitch is like... No more snuff films. What yeah. the hell? This isn't... This isn't... Gene Green doing a little Rotten dance here. Com. Jesus, so oh. many low blows by Gene Green on the mule kicks, the sometimes he just goes straight for a, an uppercut to the uh, the dick and balls. <laughs> dick and balls. <laughs> Gene Green has now hit three of his his shoulder block finishers. Yeah, I, I'm I'm surprised he hasn't brought out the the illegal uh, brass knucks yet. Chucky has hit three sky to twist oh. one, one to the to Gene Green's back, but still. Yeah. Wow. I I am flabbergasted here. These guys are really putting it all on. They know what's on the line. They they want this U.S. title. Um, and this isn't even for the title. This is just part of the qualifying yeah, tournament. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. They they're not, yeah. They have to fight again. Uh, God, I think it's next week. Or no, it's the week after oh, because God. next week we have another series of uh, tournaments. To, Two more quarterfinals, Big, yeah. Yeah, this is... I don't know, Gene Green is a terrible human being. Oh. Another code breaker from Chucky, which I'm sure Dave has a, a complex Japanese name for. No, I'm, Chris Jericho invented it. So. Did he really? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> God, these headbutts. That might. Well, you, you, could, you could call it the MX because Bushi does it, but. Yeah. Do it, Chucky. Do it. Oh. I can't believe he's kicking out of these at this point. I think that's third Yoshi Tonic, perhaps. Yeah, these guys are. 
Ah, I mean, he went for a... You know what? That was pretty great. When uh, he went for an elbow and Chucky caught him with a kick instead and downed him. Like, these guys, they have to go back on their kickboxing roots a little bit here and there. How is this happening? Is it because of the cheering crowd? How are these men... This is... It's such a shame that this is like a quarterfinal match. Finish it! Oh. Chucky hit that Gammon Gurry on him, and, uh, Jesus. That wouldn't even put him away. Oh my I mean, god. We were seeing 2.9 counts, and now we're just seeing flat twos. It's like, it's like they're getting more resilient as yeah. the match goes on. Yeah, oh my god, the poison Rana, and, like, he's just, and he's right up, and he just didn't <laughs> lost that. This is ridiculous. Like, Gene Green, what is he doing on top of that elbow drop? Like, that, he never does that. He's getting desperate. Oh, God. Those, those big buzzsaw kicks. The buzzsaw rush. Yeah, it's Still the, not enough. It's the Ultimo Dragon rush. Well, the Satoru Sayama rush. But whatever. Whatever. Another Yoshi tonic? Probably won't do it. Ugh, my, my goodness. I mean, you gotta. What, what does he have to do to put him away here? I am alarmed at how these guys are just beating each other up. I mean, we're getting into shitty ROH territory in terms of <laughs> numerous, way too many <laughs> yes. near falls. It's like exhausting. What the hell? Sledding has to have a match later tonight, and he's he keeps having to jump down to his. You can tell. Yeah. His, his shoulder's probably torn. Is yeah, you can tell that his shoulder, yeah, he's feeling he's sore and beat up now. This is no good. Gene Green just standing over, man. He can't muster any offense. He's just breathing heavily. Wow. He's got a power. That, that chest here really drags him down, I think. Oh. Jeez, Chucky. Oh, my God. Somebody end it! God, they're just getting caught in the ropes. Sledding is like saying, bring it home, bring it home. <laughs> like, we can hear it on the mic at this point. <laughs> We're seeing stuff we've never seen out of these men before. <laughs> like, I, I'm expecting, like, something ridiculous. I mean, fine, you know, that big kick rush by, by Chucky. These that was totally fought man. for 40 minutes tonight. Oh! Pin him! No! Oh god. No, no. Wow. I... I'm not sure how I feel about him trying to go back to the bat like that. God. Hit him! <coughs> Jesus! End the match! <laughs> this is terrible! It's Fight getting forever! It's <laughs> disturbing! <laughs> Fight forever. Oh no, a suplex onto the baseball bat. Oh god! <laughs> right at the end of that Louisville slugger. <laughs> Louisville? <laughs> <laughs> you're so just like. <laughs> like at this point, you're just so like, oh my god, all this, thing, all this shit's happening. It's and so then, brutal, that <laughs> suplex. Oh my god! Wow! There's some it's wild just, stuff what is he happening. Doing? Why would he. Oh my god. Oh, with you. Fucking like Sasuke. Uh, what is it? The flying space drop or whatever. <laughs> I'm loving the ca the ch chat room right now. Uh, I really wish there would have been a count out or something. This is this is like an, an overweight <laughs> soccer dad against like a guy who looks like Chuck Liddell, and it's it's just uh, never ending. Space flying Trigger up. Murph always has me back. At, uh, at this point, I was like... If that would have like, been a double count out, that would have been such horseshit. Oh, <laughs> oh he, got the, he got the brass knuckles. Pin him! Oh what? my god. Garden, or Gene. Oh my god. He's just so gassed that he couldn't do anything about it. Like, Stop celebrating, you dick. Pin him! <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my god! Wow. I can't handle this. 
And in in <laughs> the fact that like I went, and I'm like, there's no reason to let it be 60 minutes. I like, but I left it on there anyway. Like I'm like, it'll never go with that. And so if we get a 60 minute draw, I, these men are. I, no I don't way. Think it's it's heart would 34 minutes. I think we had a lot of time think, here. I think oh! Hard oh, thank God, Chucky Murphy. <laughs> Chucky wow. Murphy, what the hell? I don't know why we would think automatically it's gonna go 60 if it goes 30. <laughs> it's a little extreme, <laughs> but my God, what the hell did we just see there? 100%. Pix and Span loved it. I, yeah. uh, I'm completely <clears throat> blown away by what we just saw. Amazing. Props to them. Like, all right, now that we're not afraid, maybe that was one of the best matches ever. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Afraid. I like that we. It was. It's like fear and acceptance. <laughs> I have well, no they, idea. See, the only reason that there could be a six-minute draw is because sledding has to take a pill every hour. <laughs> yeah, he's, his heart condition pretty bad, guys. I would say that's definitely a, a top three best match in Super Chat history. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> let's, let's remember the wall for a moment. My god. Hello? Uh, am I supposed to talk about this? No, are you here? Oh, leave. leave. Oh, okay. I, I don't want to... Uh, oh, fine. <laughs> Hero, what are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> what the hell? Jessica, you can't let him just walk in here. I <laughs> I'm, can't stop I'm texting from... a bike. Like, no. <laughs> you gotta Hero's just... so much bigger and stronger than me. I can't stop him. That's why we have the taser, okay? <laughs> it's fine. You... It's not charged. There's no. It's just a. Honestly, it's a, it's a remote that Let Lou gave me and said this will stop him. And I said Let, and he ran off. So. <laughs> They're always <laughs> running around. It's so weird. I, the, they're such bizarre people. <laughs> so next up, we have a shoot fight championship. Do we not? Uh, you know, I thought I actually did think that we were supposed to have hero all. No, oh, yeah? yeah? All right, well, after this, maybe we'll call it and we can let him back in the room. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm looking at a run sheet, and that is what's scheduled. Wow. Like. Oh, Jesus, I had you kick him out with the taser? I don't have this run sheet. I need to look at it. Either way, we got we to gotta shoot fight title fight. We yeah. got to shoot fight title fight right here with Wim, so, Wigwam. Foundation. Right. Yeah, Foundation Russo had won a, uh, a gruesome tournament. Uh, before we decided, I mean, we had we had a a, a glut of gruesome number, uh, you know, contenders, and we decided when we we uh, combined that with the S1 belt, Foundation had the had the first title opportunity. Right. For some and insane reason, he put that on the line last night against Alex Thompson. Right. And the, and. Or, I'm sorry, uh, not against Alex Thompson, against Gary Belia. My right. my brain is is roasted by grief. You know what? We're all very confused in this in this industry. Uh, yeah. But wow. but yeah, Chudley. It's not the USA Championship. It's just called the US Championship, and and you know, Xylophone has made it. Uh, he was the one who was commissioned. Belia. Uh, won that with the uh, what he's now calling the Shining Hogan, which is kind of weird considering how much he hates uh, his family. But uh, it, the name, you know, when a name sticks, it sticks, and now now it's the Shining Hogan, <laughs> which is Wigwam. just a shining a shining big boot. Now Wait, Gary Belia has challenged for this title before. Has he ever been the Shoot Fight Champion, like when it was formerly the Gruesome title? I believe he was a Gruesome yeah. Champion. A gruesome I have to. Champion. Yeah. I have to go back and see at what point he was. Where uh, is Wigwam? He was, the, he was the first Gruesome yeah. champion. He beat yeah, Karate Hendrix in the tournament finals and wow. then lost it to Blaster. Uh, the Gruesome Championship uh, was only successfully defended once and the S1 title was only successfully defended once. Yeah, so. uh, we have to see if the shoot fight, uh, the shoot championship can survive. Nothing to be sorry about, Chudley. We just want to make sure that you know that 
the nomenclature. Yeah, you. Yeah, asked. it's it's very important. Like, you know, it's it's like how WWE doesn't refer to their fans; it's the universe. I'm personally, we know that boxing is a former kickboxing champion, a former banger champion. He's kind of done it all. Wigwam has been the former, uh, uh, yeah, just straight up boxing, and, and now he's the, the, the shoot fight champion. I absolutely think that Bully is an excellent challenge for him, but I think he's going to bring it home. It's, it's interesting that both guys are just wearing their wrestling gear tonight. And they're not uh, honoring. Alex Thompson in any way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not everybody has to. You guys yeah. know this. God, it's going to be interesting if uh, that boxing or any of the kickboxing uh, titles are defended again. So I've, it's it's been a long time since uh, oh they since will be. Super, Super Chat Fight League uh, proper has uh, has run an an event. Oh they will. Yeah, Wigwam is going to be. I mean he, I mean we saw in this guy. You know, he's all about low blows, man. That's just, how he won the. That's how he won the belt. He destroyed uh, Magomed uh, Ashmanov's penis so thoroughly that he was <laughs> rendered unconscious. Wigwam is fine, Murph. There's nothing. <sighs> I don't understand no, he's why. Not. You know, I can understand why wig people hate Wigwam, but not discussion. That's for sure. Whoa, a giant press in a gruesome fight. My god, that'd be so amazing to see. Belia is really on the comeback here. Oh yeah. my god, he just picked up Wigwam and threw him. Wigwam is, or Gary's trying to throw <coughs> Wigwam out of the cage, which I think is a, a, a TKO loss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah didn't, um... Hank got, tried to throw someone yeah, out. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> like, what's even the point of doing that? Just to be awesome, I guess. Yeah, you know, this is these guys do compete like it's the Wild West. You know, they're 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 acting like this is 1993 UFC. Hell yeah, good for them. This oh, whoa, we, we got a new champion. Balia is back, baby. Triple wow. B. Wow, the big boot. Unbelievable big, that the big boot the big, knocks Wigwam unconscious. The big Balea boot. Ah, oh, another title changes hands. This is what I'm talking about. Crazy, actually. All right, well, now it's my understanding that we are going to go live to, uh, or actually, well, kind of live, live to tape, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hero Supreme is... We gathered everyone together um, to talk about the wall, uh, Alex Thompson. And uh, right now we're going <clears> to <throat> talk to Hero. Oh, no, wait, that's not Hero. Wow. There he is. Hero. Hero. There's <laughs> Kelly Kelly looking confused into the camera. Uh, sorry, I know that this is... <laughs> Hero, please uh, tell us about your thoughts on Alex the Wall Thompson. You know, I mean, uh, god damn it, this guy, you know, I, uh, nobody should be murdered in a ring. I know this firsthand because uh, my, my nephew, or my great nephew, uh, rest in peace, Stromboli Supreme, uh, you know, Computer Collins killed him in the ring. Uh, great tragedy. Nobody ever got their, uh, no reparations from that. Uh, you know, nobody should die in a ring, especially not with the mouth full of fucking, uh, turf. Uh, you know, these Bianca's, uh, sometimes they don't do things, uh, the right way. Maybe not the safest guys in the world, I don't fucking know. But, uh, you know, this guy shouldn't have died in the ring. Uh, what, what, what is going on? I don't know. But uh, nobody should die in a ring, all right? Uh, I've, my family has suffered greatly from it. And, uh, you know, that guy, uh, granted he was a piece of shit and he killed his baby girl. He killed his wife. Uh, you know, he's still... Uh, why would we even work with this guy? I don't know. I just remember seeing him getting wheeled in like fucking Hannibal Lecter. Uh, you know, I'm eating my crepes. I'm not dealing with nobody. I ain't talking to this guy. I talked to the, the security guards that drove him over, you know? 
And I told them, you know, you should look into getting a Buick. Uh, we could set you up with a certified pre-owned. Uh, you know, why not? Uh, come down, come on down. But they were like, no, we're in Iowa. You're in Philly. Uh, we're going to go with our van. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you keep <laughs> rambling about? Hero, Hero really worked through it there. That was... <laughs> he kind of started by saying, like, like, kind of, he was somewhat sorry. But then, <laughs> like, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a hell of a eulogy from Hero Supreme that I'm I'm not it, it sure. It turned into a certified pre-owned ad. Like, and, but, he, but he went on this weird thing about his, his like about Strongholy's death and computer. Con. Well, he's like, working he... through that too. Like yeah, that's I mean, very sad. My God. All right. So now I mean, now he's bike still. I guess I don't know. Like... Absolutely. Well, rightfully so. I mean, I guess now keep in mind here. Uh, we have, I've, I'm literally being texted pictures right now. Uh, <laughs> Xylophonist is, was, is on the scene right now at Alec Thompson's memorial. Keep in mind that he's having a service right now, right oh, no. now. Uh, and I'm, what the hell? Let's take a look here. <clears throat> First. Let's take another quick look at how he died. Now we're going, we're getting these pictures, <laughs> including I'm running the YouTube video of this song in the background. Uh, we are getting these pictures from Xylophonist Bianca right now, from, <laughs> from his, from the Wall Thompson's live, what? Oh my god. Oh no, Zoning Zhang and Technology Cooper are fighting in the viewing room? Just off camera. Jesus oh my Christ. god. Sony saying it's getting kicked by Technology Cooper. What's that? Why, why is it Silophotus taking video of this? He's just sending me pictures and I'm I'm putting he's them on a, screen when I can. Oh, these he's punches. He's got a flip phone. That's why. <laughs> I'm putting them on screen as, as quickly as he sends me these pictures. My god. <laughs> they're fighting back and forth in the viewing room. Just off screen is, is, the, is, is the coffin. My god, a suplex, suplex, what? Xylophones just texted me that technology is pulling the body of Alex Wall Thompson out of his casket. Oh no. Oh my god, no, look no, at his no, no, body, no, no, he's just no, dragging no. Oh, it around. Jesus what the Christ. hell? This is terribly a bloated corpse. Oh, oh he's no. pinning him. No. He's pinning oh, him. No. Jesus this is, <laughs> he's just He just took out a dead body and pinned it. Why is this? <laughs> no, he's, no. He, he's taunting no. a dead body. No. He's taunting the murderer. Dead body is not wearing a black armband. What is happening? This is unbelievable. Why? He's dead, and he's on the ground, and he, we. I guess he pinned him. I. I... Yeah, this is just the worst thing that's ever happened. Is he... Is he the champion now? I think uh, Technology Cooper is the champion. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, and, and, and speaking uh, of champion, we're, we're going right into this hardcore title fight. Like, the, the, Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing a night of, of madness. Oh my god! Captain is immediately bleeding. We, we haven't even this really... Is worse. That was worse than the time Big Show drug, or I'm sorry, Big Boxman drug Big Show's dad's casket uh, <laughs> oh, in the back was, of his car. 
Yeah, that happened, uh, I think that was in Providence, Rhode Island. My god, we're getting questions, uh, who was the ref? Maybe, maybe that fight doesn't even count, Murph. Uh, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we don't know if if the the continuing rotting body of of Alex the Wall Thompson might still be the hardcore champion for all we know. There was no ref there. It's absolutely true. But meanwhile, these guys are fighting, keep in mind, for the hardcore title, which is uh the, the picture of tag team. Yeah. Titles, yeah. Rock the, Rock and uh Johnny Grunge. Johnny Grunge. Who are also dead. <laughs> Who are also dead. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, nobody, I don't think anybody tried to defile that funeral. I mean, maybe maybe Green Lantern fan or something, but I don't know. Maybe PG-13. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the pastor, maybe. I have no idea uh, what's going on in this world. I, I just think that clearly the booth let Lou wanted to go directly to this matchup. Algorithm still has his uh, oh. cruise uh, his cruise weight <laughs> on. He's not he's not dropped those those shrimp pounds. These guys are really going at it. Yeah, I do wonder if we're gonna have an Alex Thompson real tournament at some point. I think it's only fitting. Um. Yeah, but it has to be like a really really hardcore tournament where. You know, permadeath or something like <laughs> to the death. Wow, Act literal death matches. Like we we've we've had a lot of death matches. We've had brick brick death matches. You had uh, RK four death matches. You've had Chandler fence death matches. I never thought that the sod death match would result in an actual. I thought that would be the safest one. I thought you'd just see some grass burns and like stain your clothes. Yeah, like yeah. like. Like, we saw Sledding really apprehensive about getting his, his pants dirty in that match. Well, we thought the most dangerous thing was going to be Lyme disease. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not death. No, I, yeah, and, and now it's death from this. Not even death from Lyme disease. It was unrelated I mean, Lyme to Lyme disease is a serious disease, but, uh, you know, it's terrible. But You know, I would say that it, this show had high expectations. We knew it was stacked. And I'm thrilled. We're seeing some. Oh my God! We're seeing some wild stuff. I'm I'm left with even more questions. Oh my God! Kept Owens being stuck in the his dreadlocks. His white guy dreadlocks are being stuck with a fork. You know, I I, I am kind of curious. Who thought? I guess <laughs> you know. This just I guess this just happened. But you know, you put a death match right after uh, the disturbing imagery of what happened in the. In the funeral hall. Hey, leading up to the funeral was already disturbing. We saw two men fight for 35 minutes after they got hit in the head with baseball bats. Now all four of these men are bleeding. I like how the Lost Seas have become more hardcore than anyone. Uh, who are the Lost Seas? The Lost Seas would be the Lost Boys seas. and the High Seas teaming My up god, there. they should totally team up. <laughs> Tag the, teams uh, have been made band. for less. Yeah. <laughs> They could be challenging the Steel Drum Band for sure. This would be. I, I think Bike is, is probably listening. He's always listening. I know, he's back in gorilla position. Hello, Luigi. Life is all about fake wrestling. I, I like that uh, Captain White drops his bat and then does a pose where he's supposed to be holding his bat like <laughs> just really <laughs> oh. really not all there this has been a very what was that uh, uh, well Murph is saying that uh, you need to be drug tested Jason because of your flubs and I think I think it's just an issue of overwhelming grief has, uh, has left you kind of addled yeah that's true yeah, Murph says that we've had the uh, second best match ever. You know what? You guys take care of a million different things. I got bike texting me. Uh, I got to deal with lead. <laughs> I need to tell Xylophonus to make it back home. <laughs> I call the arena home. Uh, bike isn't in your ear telling you what to say. McMahon on commentary. Oh, God. DDT onto the chair leg. This has been. I don't feel like we've given this fight the uh, 
the credit that it's due, we're seeing another... We just saw some terrible things. I know, I'm still shook. And, and I would fail that moving. drug test. Alright. I would fail it. In this match isn't, isn't what was that, Jessica? I, th I, was gonna, I think everyone's bleeding in this match already. Oh, they've been bleeding. And, and have been for yeah. a while, yeah. Yeah, this is some gross bloodletting stuff. The Missouris are just all about blood. Well, the Missouris' faces are 97%, uh, you know, scar tissue. Right. They're like, they're like Nick Diaz, they need to get that oh. surgery to, you know, make sure they don't bleed as much. Getting dragged across that barbed wire. They need to get their, uh, face bone shaved down, I believe, is yeah. how it works. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of stuff going on in this match. <laughs> this, this is totally brutal. It really is. This is one of the most hardcore matches I feel like we've ever done. You know, I, I will give props to the Missouris for what they are. For what? They, oh, they, 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 yeah, they care about Alex Thompson. They absolutely. respect the murderer. Oh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I heard there were rumors that the Missouris and Thompson were, were looking to, to team up to, to challenge for trios gold, but I don't know My if that's God. actually true or not. No, it doesn't matter at this point, because one of them is dead and <laughs> two of them are bleeding profusely. <laughs> the last time we had a death match like this, a uh, man died, so... <laughs> uh, who knows what's gonna happen in this. So much blood. Letlu and Salafonis are... Oh my god, fire to Captain White's face! It burned off his mustache! <laughs> wow, he wasn't ready for that. How could you ever get ready for it? <clears throat> Algorithm needs to stop, like... Haunting and like do cartwheels, blood all over the place, like blood cartwheels. It's a weird thing to do. Yeah, he's his partner getting smashed in the head with a chair while he cartwheels is just uh weird. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god! Captain White. These men are taking a ton of damage. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, it's just we've we've witnessed so much violence in the past couple of weeks. In the just the just tonight, we, like Murph said, we saw like the second best match ever. We've seen this whole epic league of a tournament. We're seeing this insane. They're taking so much damage. Title changes, a corpse defiled. Yeah, a, a champion. And let's let's not even talk about what we, what we didn't see. You know, the uh, the end of that scramble. Yeah. Yeah, the ghosts, the scramble. Oh my god, a fucking fork to the head. <laughs> it's just, this is terrible. Oh my god, that package power bomb. Yeah. Oh. I mean, his partner was right there to break it up, but it that the damage was done with that move. Yeah. Ugh, and then I don't it, know these Missouri's. They work together in these matches. Yep. They absolutely do, and Algorithm has gone outside again as Captain White gets stabbed. At this point, I kind of want to look away. Why is this happening? If like the Missouris were smart, they'd go for a quick cover while uh, Algorithm's um, up to it. Like, yep. Get it. Algorithm, fast. Algorithm, when he rolled in, he just laid there. It hurts. Yeah. The Missouris have been here before, though. They they always take part in some of the most violent matches. Oh, God. It's finally come to it. I think that the high seas are... They've met their match? They could be. They never wanted to be in this hardcore stuff. <laughs> My God. They just want to drink spiced rum and hang out. So is there any word on what... Uh what Johnny Depp movie uh, Captain Algorithm were watching this week? Every week it's Finding Neverland. Every single week they watch Finding Neverland. Without fail. Yeah, I mean, it's... Ooh. You know, these guys don't have a, wide, a big video library at their disposal. <laughs> <laughs> 
they had a Netflix account and uh, it's, it's it expired. They, oh, you know, there's just too little, card. too little Johnny on there. Kendo stick shot. Oh my god, more forks to the head. This is terrible. These guys, this is their title. They, they just haven't claimed it, you know what I mean? Yeah, we all know it. God, look at all, all four of the men laying there bleeding. What a... Now Missouri goes outside. I'm I'm starting to say I still have trouble telling them apart, even with the the addition of the shirt. The shirt I think one maniac. I think is maniac. Yeah, maniac <laughs> is wearing a t-shirt. I think. I, I think so. And then Maximo. Because Maximo is, uh, is a bit bigger, uh, yeah. with a mustache. I oh, know they both have one. Oh. I agree, Murph. Maximo is the one who has the uh, oh, bullet lodged in his head, correct? What was that? I said Maximo is the one that has the bullet lodged in his head, correct? Or am yes. I yeah. Okay. Yeah. He has a bullet lodged in his head, and that could be it. I think this is it. Which Algorithm you think would be a, an easy off switch for a lot of a lot of people if you're just looking to, to hit that bullet and drive it a little into his head and finish the match, but it has no place yet. I don't know how these guys are still in this. Oh my god! Someone has to clip that maybe. Luckily Captain White didn't explode it. My god, the high seas are... What the hell? Maximo Jesus. in Maniac, Missouri dominate and, and win. Unbelievable. I have no wow. idea what kind of art they're going to request. 89%? Absolutely crazy. The high seas will not be partying with Johnny Depp tonight. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. So the Missouris are two-time hardcore tag team champions, which is uh, the first time that's happened. Yeah, I believe that definitely first. Oh, good point. Really, uh, trying stuff that we saw that that was a really bloody, terrible match. Oh, wow. We actually have Kelly Kelly coming in here in just one minute. Hold on one second. Let me go get Kelly Kelly. One second. Jessica, do you have that Kelly Kelly feed ready? I'm pulling it up uh, just as we speak. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Oh, there he is. There, there's... There's Kelly Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> what I think about Alex Thompson was, whenever he would show up, the fucking security guards would bring some nice coffee and a few donuts. And I always appreciate when he would show up. But, uh, as for the man himself, I always thought he was a fucking shithead. I could have kicked his arse, but Mike never let me fight him. Uh, so what if he killed his wife and kids? I mean, in Ireland, if, uh, if the family's running low on food or money, and you got too many children, you kind of got to let them go. I don't know, maybe it was the same situation. You just kind of have to, you have to understand it. It's a different culture over in Ireland, so I don't, I don't grieve too much for what he did. I grieve a little bit for the man because he was a good competitor. I never got a chance to kick him in the fucking head, which is a bit of a disappointment for me. But, uh, you know, Pike, Pike told me to, to say a few words, so I said a few words, and in honor of this man, I'm gonna get fucking shit faced. Did, uh, did it sound like he was on speed? Is he okay? Like, wow. I know. It's uh, absolutely terrible. I mean, I. Know? He, he won last week, he, he finally defeated Bradford Culpepper, and as we know, anytime Kelly Kelly wins, he gets extremely high on himself, and he might yeah. have gotten high on something else. 
I mean, is he huffing stuff? Is he... <laughs> I, I don't know. That was... These eulogies have been really... Uh, not <laughs> They're revealing eulogies. in a lot of ways. Yeah, like, <laughs> nobody's eulogizing the wall. They're just... <laughs> They're just kind of shouting about, like... It's, a, it's more airing of grievances than... <laughs> like, yeah, these guys are just going off. And I, I feel... If, if Alex Thompson has any family out there still left alive, they gotta be maybe a little put off about how his former employer is just burying the poor... I mean, we just saw his dead body dragged around and pinned. Like, I... <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm at a loss. A complete loss. A man a man is dead and he was a terrible man. I I don't know anymore. I'm I'm trying to to find the, the positive of this uh, uh, talking about this guy and the only positive I can think of is that he's Guy, there's no, there's no, yeah, there's no positive to this guy. I mean, <laughs> it's one of those things where you just gotta like move on. <laughs> you know, Mike is scheduled like, it's, to talk I, about him I later. Know. On. What is why, he gonna say? Why are we focusing so much on this man? He's a murderer. He's, I'm, you know what? I'm just <laughs> gonna say it. I'm glad he's dead. In, in, they're, we're forcing us to talk and memorialize this guy. Who planned this? Uh, who thought this was an idea to do? Jesus Christ! I have no idea, but I'll tell you this much. Uh, Jessica, will you break down this next leg of the uh, the very first U.S. tournament, or the tournament Abs for the U.S. belt? Absolutely. So we have Boxing, a, uh, a former world title contender who probably could have won it if if not for interference on, on behalf of the alt-right. Uh, Karate Hendrix, a former... Uh, I believe gruesome and, and perhaps a S1 champion in his own right. So he's definitely got experience there. Um, or maybe maybe not. It's it's tough keeping... He, Cardi was the SWA champion. That's right. right. My, yeah. my mistake. Yep, and he's uh, been a multiple-time kickboxing champ as well. Abs absolutely. And boxing has, has had a lot of success in kickboxing and, and boxing to, to his own right. Uh, meet me in. Uh, he's a former hardcore tag champion with Chucky. So if they meet uh, later on down the line, that'll be interesting. Um, he hasn't had much single success, but he hasn't had a lot of uh, singles opportunities, in my opinion. Um, oh. Of course, I, I am a little biased, as as Jason has said. I do kind of report on the comings and goings of all of the Sons of Anger. And then, of course, Chu Chai Train Mu Tai Jim, former uh, S1 champion, uh, devastating man. He's He's retired. At least one person in the world of kickboxing, mm, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Incredibly so violent. It, Mian versus uh, Chuchai is going to be incredibly violent. I mean, Chuchai's first uh, match, uh, I believe he knocked out both, or, if not both, at least one of his opponents, and then pinned the other in short order uh, in a triple threat match. So it's it's a, it's a lot of violence going on tonight. <laughs> yeah, I. You know, uh, that's a good point, though. <laughs> Maybe the funeral was in Alaska, I think. <laughs> uh, I think that's that's what how you can tell that there was light outside. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go with that. <laughs> Silent Forest went all the way to... <laughs> God, I can't... <laughs> so not only does Xylophonus, but technology and... and uh... Uh, Zoning Zang also traveled all the way to <laughs> all the way to Alaska <laughs> <laughs> to to photograph something on a flip phone. <laughs> yeah, like you would think if you're gonna pay <laughs> the airfare, you would at least like put some equipment on them. <laughs> we know we got the GoPro, <laughs> and so let Lou tired. Let Lou's like. Well, he had to leave the GoPro here with with let Lou. Let Lou is like running around putting it on people's heads. Yeah, he he's he's running on people. No, he, yeah, he's putting it in people's laps. He's talking in the chat room. It, it's and meanwhile tonight, I just want to say we've seen some of the best action that SCFL has has ever given us. I think. Yeah, I I mean this has been quite a tournament. Oh look, Let Lou's oh, tired. Poor Let Lou. Poor Let Lou. He's, this is definitely, like, we keep him up past his bedtime every Saturday. 
<laughs> Every Saturday, it's so true. I mean, these... Oh. God, those knees to the ribs. Well, Xylophonist was here for some of the camera work early on. Uh, and then, you know, Bike sent him away. The Let Lou has just been running to and fro. Uh, he's planting his the, the spare GoPro on, on, like, the heads of people in the crowd. Like, it's really awkward. Uh, if you've ever been to a Cirque du Soleil show, they do weird audience participation. It's kind of like that, except you're actually doing... Both of these men wearing the black armbands. <laughs> it's really interesting to see, like, how... I mean... You know, these guys are all about respect, you know? And, and uh, Mike asks them to do something stupid, and they do it, you know? Like, <laughs> that's respect. Yeah, I think that... I, or, or do they... Are, do, are they completely informed of the situation, is my question. I think they were just told to wear black armbands, and I don't know <laughs> if they knew that, that it was a memorial of a convicted merc. Right. And why is it two armbands, you know? Like, why why, why not one? Especially when apparently there's not enough to ground, like... <laughs> nobody, everybody, I guess, does everybody think they're, like, the, like ultimate warrior or something? They're really know. memorializing. <laughs> like, he's... Oh, he's <laughs> doubly sorry. Oh, misses that big jump kick there. Karate really going all out early on here. These guys have had some epic, epic, uh, I, I hate to reuse that, that word, but uh, epic kickboxing battles in the cage. Yeah, So it's, yeah. it's fun to see them back. I mean, because these guys are knocking on the door of Elite. Th these oh, guys absolutely. could be world title contenders, so it's like interesting that the U.S. title, it seems like the world title, Walsh, Jessica, it's very political. We're just not, we're not seeing it. Right. The, the world title, it gets tied up in all of these ridiculous, uh, you know, like it's it's being carried around in like a like a weird little briefcase uh, with with felt lining. It's, it's, it's treated reverently and that's great. But, uh, you know, these guys need their they need a shot at it. You know, they needed their chance to shine. And I, all the guys who have been involved in the U.S. tournament thus far could easily be champion. Absolutely, and as Murph says that boxing was a world title c contender, and that's true until Ichabod gets screwed out of it. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that move is called, like like a reverse like tarantula like triangle choke on the ropes or something. Yeah, he's really... <sighs> Karate is... You know, he tries to use all his... to... He likes to keep his distance. When he gets close, he likes to do things that a uh, little bit more less than orthodox, I guess you could say. Well, boxing, he just wants to get in there. He wants to hit that big left hand. That's what he wants to do. Yep. It, that's not to say that boxing isn't well-rounded, because he is. Right. But he knows where his money is. I apologize for uh, having to step out. Kelly Kelly left his shoes uh, when he <laughs> wandered away, and I wanted to make sure he uh, he had them. And he wasn't he wasn't heading out into uh, you know belly ribbon itself and, and causing havoc as he sometimes does. It's you know, cold out there tonight. I, it's really yeah. nice that you you know are, are are willing to take care of Kelly Kelly like that. <laughs> he comes I'm, I'm in, about, sits I'm down. I'm about tired of his <laughs> shit. I'm about tired of his shit. To be honest, it's it's getting frustrating. I, mean, I think Bike needs to stop booking him. Um, wow. Clearly, not not altogether. I'm just saying, let him, let him stop being so let thoroughly concussed. Yeah. <laughs> well, all he did tonight was talk. Did he get a concussion? Maybe. I did ah. see that he he walked into one of the lighting rigs as he got up to leave. <laughs> but yeah. There's a good there chance was, that he was concussed. There was that. talk of him he being in a walk. match, but. Yeah, he he walked into a uh, a large. Uh, clear window. I think it was just a, a an open space, and that kind of you know set him down the, the wrong path of in terms of brain health for the night. <laughs> oh. Oh, that running like kick wow. to the ribs is so brutal. 
Karate Hendrix is starting to pull away here. He could be. This is, uh... You know, boxing, boxing needs to... Says, no way. Yeah, he needs to get his shit together a little bit better. Oof, that one-two from boxing. Could this be it from a one-two? Wow. 2.9. Sledding is out there again. Yeah, he's got a match later tonight. I'll say this for Sledding. I mean, he's he's refing the matches where his children and his, his other family members are present. And he's, he's fairly objective, unlike... Uh, and like Ron Harris, who, you know, last week, let his, really? let his emotions get the better of him. Yeah, he really hates Ichabod, so he really... I mean, I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, condemn him for for the hatred of Ichabod. I, I, I read some of the tweets where it, that Ichabod himself sent out, which clearly don't paint him in the best light, but somehow he thought the public at large needs to know. <laughs> yeah, the, what, I you remember he, the Thanksgiving tweets. <laughs> yeah, he, he ruined Thanksgiving in a, a horrific manner. I like how yeah. they're referenced as the Thanksgiving tweets. I mean, he went on a rant about how, you know, Ron was a cuck, and that how he, Ichabod exposed himself at, at Thanksgiving dinner, because, and then threatened to have sex with his sister in God, front of Ron. Jesus. Like, it, really weird stuff. I mean, I, I don't blame Ron for hating Ichabod. I mean, imagine Ichabod living in your basement, playing World of Tanks, uh, loudly masturbating all the time. <laughs> loudly like... masturbating? Karate <laughs> Hendrix goes on well, on that note. Yeah. Karate mm -hmm. Hendrix wins. I mean, that's, 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 how, that's how that. men go their own way, apparently. I Ichabod <laughs> also, you know, Ichabod is a historian. Let it be known. Yeah, I don't know what he's a historian of. So Karate, with the quick, rel relatively quick win. Good fight, though. I thought boxing had that. And now we'll see Meet Mean versus Chu Chai. And Chu Chai is a former kickboxing champion. He's dangerous. Meet Mean, uh, Mean has kind of become. Uh, I, I like his stuff with Tapas Tiempo as a team. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to go his own way. I'm, I'm kind of excited for him to get the shot, though. Yeah, I, don't think Meet, I don't think Meet Mean and, and Tapas Tiempo have ever teamed up. Um, who am I thinking of? The, the pink shorts. Oh, Fortran Cobalt. Fortran and, and, and Tapas are, are tag partners. Oh. Meat and Chucky are tag partners. Uh, Ichabod, I think, always uses German tanks and World of Tanks. Oh, of oh, course. Yeah. I mean, they're superior, they're better built. Mercedes all the way. Well, it's, uh... I'm sure it's other reasons than, than the Mercedes. Oh, I see. German engineering efficiency. He appreciates how Mercedes funded... War machine. Yeah, folks, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna drop a link in the chat to uh, Ichabod's November tirade. Oh God. Now I want to say here, coming into this, that Chuchai is definitely the favorite. Like, this man I, could be, yeah. I think Let Loose reading those tweets. I, <laughs> I feel horrible about that. I know. Let Loose should not see these types of things because he could go. Like, that is like the prime candidate for someone that could just go in any direction. <laughs> like, I mean, I, honestly, I don't even remember some of these tweets, but. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he said. Uh, this is not the well, most. This is. I mean, said keep in mind part. that we have a lot of good people watching right now, and they sh they should. He is a sweet innocent boy. I think that th yeah, they can they can follow the Twitter link. They can follow. Yeah. Uh, let me just say something about Ichabod playing wedding with his sister, and she thought he took it a little too seriously. That's, well, now Ron Harris that is, is going to get his revenge. Yeah, he got his revenge, and it cost Ichabod the title, but. Uh, you know, those guys live in the same house, remember. Granted, Ichabod lives in the basement of this house, but, uh, still. Meet me in, I mean, hanging in there. I, I Look at that elbow from Chuchai. I, I, I'm thinking <clears throat> Chuchai is going to pull this one out. He's got too much championship experience. He's won, like, every title please he don't, could possibly want. Please don't discuss pulling things out right after discussing Ichabod. Oh, God. Yeah, especially, especially his Thanksgiving. Ichabod's Thanksgiving is all about pulling it out. His, as he said, called it a MAGA Thanksgiving. 
Oh no. I... Trading kick sound of the belly. See, this is fascinating to me. Ribbon. The fact that Meet Me In can, can trade with Chu Chai. He's a tough guy. He's, he might be a little short, but, uh, you know, he makes up for it. And now he's tearing at Of course, there's, there's a big difference between a guy wearing, you know, kick pads and a guy with, you know, a lot of Muay Thai experience with his, you know, purely uncovered shin bone. Right. In the belly. I like that. I, you know, that's interesting about Chu Chai. He doesn't, he doesn't put on airs. He just, he's out there. He's not wearing boxing gloves. He's not wearing wrist tape. Like, you know, not all the way up the wrist. Like, to protect his forearms. He's not wearing the, the kick pads. He's just going. He's like, nah, he's, I'm trying, he's trying to hurt people. He is I'm feeling surprised. sad about Alex Thompson, though, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not wearing uh, any kind of, like, you know, rope wraps just to cause more cuts. Yeah, you know, I think he... I, th I think he would knows that that would be skirting a, you know, a line le legally in the ring. Not that this is a big sledding pays any attention to that. Yeah, I've never seen sledding check a person's, you know, pads <laughs> or anything for any... I'm not sure. he, he, oh. he clearly can't find Gene Green's uh, brass knuckles. Wow. 2.9, that, that flying forearm to the back of it, like the nape of the neck. Just brutal. I mean, this guy has watched uh, some Tony Ja movies, if you know what I mean. Interesting. Look at look at that one count. Meet Me In is gassed. Meet Me In is being beat up. The flying knee, my god! He seems outclassed right now. I mean, this is a world champion caliber fighter. Jessica. <laughs> yeah, is... on Twitter is a very strange place, generic tag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> it's 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 not it's not suitable for let loose. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Uh, let loose should not be seeing that. We shouldn't be sharing those types of things. There's a whole side of this 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 whole weird league that let loose doesn't need to know about. <laughs> he doesn't need to know like these weird photos of Hillary Clinton that take <laughs> God no. Hillary he just needs to he needs to just eat his ramen. <laughs> And be a quiet young man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> meet me in getting a breather here. Now, what would this mean if Meet won the U.S. title, Jessica, for the Sons of Anger? <coughs> they they've been chasing uh, titles for so long. They have. It's. I mean, they've they've had brief, you know, grabs at at various titles. Um. You know. Uh, I. I feel that a lot of their top guys have kind of been out of the title picture, uh, not through losses, but simply by being distracted with other things, like, uh, you know, Rap Metal, who's the top guy, has been chasing this trios championship instead of, you know, singles success, so it's... Right. So if a guy like, uh, Meet Me and can, can win the U.S. title and, you know, potentially defend it a couple of times, I think something like that would definitely, you know, put it in line for, you know, uh, you know, more glory, and I think um, I think that's oh. what he's. I mean, he wouldn't mind that, but he's just yeah. such an intense guy that he just likes the competition. He likes kicking people in the head. He likes dropping them on their on their necks. Um, now keep in mind that that if he goes and, and goes on to to beat Karate next round, if he wins this fight against Chuchai, because who knows? Oh God! Oh my God! Wow! Uh, what the meat, hell? Meat might be winning here. Like, jeez, oh, that flying knee. If he does that, he's got to fight Chucky Murphy, another son of anger. Oh, my God, oh, they're just flying knees at it. They're throwing tag them at each other. Uh, tag team partners, as it were. Not even just sort of training partners. Or, oh. you know, I mean, the Sons of Anger is a pretty big gym kind of uh, establishment. What? So a lot of guys don't necessarily, you know, hang out too much. But Chucky and Meat have definitely trained a lot. They've, or let's say they've held the hardcore tag team uh, frame photograph before. <laughs> it, it'd definitely be a, an interesting matchup. This has been a hell of a match. I feel like we have not been paying attention to how amazing this has been. <laughs> it's all about it. You know, this is the terribleness of Ichabod. It things end up about him at some point. 
and I don't know how we get there. He's just a terrible human being that we have under well, our he's, employ. He's been a champion for so long. He's he, not he, anymore, though. I know, he, I know, but I'm saying like he just he's hovered over go. the league. Yeah. You you want to fire Ichabod? I mean, I, I'm guess well, I'm, I'm no, fine with that. No, 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 I mean, let go oh. talking about him. He can, you know. I think he would. Mike would be really afraid of the lawsuit. I, I think that he hangs over the alt right. Hangs over all of this. They're, they're the main event. Meanwhile, we've got an incredible fight. Oh yeah, my the god! Knees. The knees, the elbows. Three. Chuchai gets it. But you know, neat. He. I respect what he did. Yeah, that was. A lot out of each other. Both guys. When, uh, Went pretty, or both matches went pretty long, so I don't think anyone's got a major advantage. Right. Let's take a look here. Ninety-four percent. Man, we've been seeing some amazing fights tonight. Just like fight after fight has been incredible. Now karate. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's that feels like one of the few uh, non, you know, heavy impact strike moves that Chu Chai likes to use. I mean, it's, it's a, he, he throws a lot of knees and elbows, but the Chu Chai driver is yeah one of the one of the few of you know actual grapples, if you could call it that. Yeah, it's one of the few actual wrestling moves he does that isn't just driving a knee into somebody's face. What what is oh no let loose, I think he's broken. <laughs> let loose, you can't fire anybody, but you can't. Chu Chai, I'm I think that this leans in favor of Karate Hendricks. Now Walsh is Chu Chai wearing just normal armbands or is he honoring Alex Thompson? Uh, you know, he has normal armbands right, that he wears, that's what I but thought. those are, uh, he does have, in, in addition... Oh, the, he uh, puts a band Thompson. over it? Yeah. He put a band I... over his band? Oof. <clears throat> Trying to respect him, you know, I guess. I don't really know why he would. All of these I mean, people... as, I, I assume Chu Chai is someone who's caused irreparable damage to another person in the, the realm of fighting is kind of... You know, showing some respect to what can happen. So I he's, guess. He's, he's, you know, he's heard a lot of banana trees, but never met anybody. Well, he, he retired, uh, who did he retire? I think it was Fortran for kickboxing. Maybe, uh, it was, well, maybe it was Kaizen who, uh, is allegedly coming. <laughs> Kaizen is going to be here at some point. We can guarantee that. Um, he has a contract. He has to, at some point, show up and compete. Those shin kicks. Chu Chai just. I mean, you have to wonder. We saw the other. Uh, you know, we we're good. We're doing a four-block tournament, and uh, we saw the first block finals. Pretty pretty long, crazy affair. Yeah. I wonder if these guys are going to go as long. I wonder if. I feel like their their first matches were way harder hitting than what we saw before. Yeah. And then these guys are gonna have to possibly fight each other next week. I don't even know. I don't well, know. I think next week we have the other two blocks. Right. And I think the following week is another uh, four-one block. It yeah. Would be the would be the final four, and then the winner is champion. Yeah. The Which first is, U.S. champion. Whatever the hell U.S. is, I don't they're know. the champion of it. I, you know, it's not USA. We, we that was made painfully clear to us by Bike. Um, it's but, not USA. You know, yeah. We asked we asked Silophone if it meant United States of America, and he said no. It means it's US. So <laughs> that's all he said. I don't I, I don't know if that even matters. I mean, it's the, the title is a title. Uh, the the all right clearly thought it was United States. That's for sure. But then now they're not involved. Like, Gene Green got eliminated after fighting for nearly 60, like, 55 minutes or something like that. I mean, I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Ichabod or Petrov or Federal Bell somehow worms their way into one of the other brackets. I just, I, I, I don't know. Very true. Well, you know, I mean, I guess, I, I, you know, I'm curious what happens this week. I mean, we have the alt-right looking to defend the tag titles, but it's against the, you know, the very tough team of Cheezist and Sanders. Yeah. 
And I never thought I'd be saying cheesest and Sanders I as know. a tough team, but these guys have have shown you know that they're where it's at when it comes to tag team wrestling. And and that's what I find very exciting about watching this league week in and week out. We're seeing like like Freddie Fisher has become a new star. <coughs> we're right. seeing we're seeing these U.S. titles like because we don't have SWA or S1, but we're seeing now Karate Hendricks and Choo Chai. You know those right. those guys are champions. Former champions, both yeah. of them. Oh, 2.9. And we're seeing these stars be made all over the place. The Missouris rightfully get the hardcore tag titles back. It's, uh, I, I, I'm pleased with, with how these people are able to tell their stories inside the ring and out. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm, sh I'm shocked that Karate survived at Chidra. This is, Jesus, these guys are going hard. I want to say that I'm shocked that for all we know, Alex Wall Thompson might still be the hardcore champ. I don't really know. It doesn't even make sense anymore. I don't know either. Oh, I think no. I mean, I guess we might have to wait for the uh, the 30 days to elapse without him defending. There and you go. Be stripped. Well, was he technically in a fight tonight earlier? <laughs> I mean, it it depends on if uh, if that pastor who was there was sanctioned as a uh, referee or not. I don't know. Generic tag asking, "What if U.S. turns out to be United Socialists?" I maybe I don't know. Uh, I, for all I know, it could be United States. That's what they think, right? I mean, that's as good a guess as any. We haven't seen the belt yet. All we know is that "quote unquote" Xylophonus is working on it. Love bike. For all we know, it could mean steak. Um, and Xylophonus just got the word switched. <laughs> <laughs> he does love steak ums. <laughs> He loves anything that can go in his mouth, basically. Look, roll like him up toddler. with a red ball, and it's a, it's a party. <laughs> it's a party. These guys are going at it, and you really see their kickboxing come through. Can't wait for 20 years from now, untold story of SCFL. Oh, man. Yeah, you know WWE is going to buy these guys out, or we're going to get a fight pass contract. I would say within yeah. 10 years. I mean, I would say, you know, closer to Flow Sports or something, but, you know, Flow has a very complicated history with wrestling, so... As long as David Bixen's fan can still rate the matches, that's all I care about. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe we can use him to go after that big uh, Gizmodo media contract. Yeah, Giz yeah uh, the Gawker Network is just going to start... <laughs> we're, we're pivoting to uh, wrestling simulations. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're only showing SCFL replays. <laughs> Not even fresh content, just just the replays because the back catalog is so huge. I, I mean, I would consider Powerbomb.tv if they wanted to. Uh, you know, they, they've had some drama. They could definitely use some drama-free entertainment uh, where people die and terrible <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so yeah, murderers, people who have murdered their family end up dying in a sod death match. How, how here? How how is that for you know marketable to advertisers? <laughs> Gizmondo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, these guys are killing each other, and uh, crowd is is like the raucous right now. They're they're freaking out. I mean, out. They, <laughs> they saw a dead man last week. And they almost saw dead people again this week. They did They're, see a dead uh, guy. They saw the pictures of a dead guy in Alaska. Well, you know, being but dragged they, around week, a room. Last week they saw this man die in the ring, and you know, that's. I mean, we didn't we didn't terrible. know he was dead at the time. It took we were it speculating took that he was. Uh, we couldn't tell if anyone was breathing. <laughs> like he was sitting there for forty minutes. Unmoving, unconscious. I mean, it was clear at that point that he was either in a coma or just dead, gone. And he was gone. He was gone. Yeah, live attendance has gone up considerably since a man died. I think people are really into this being a snuff show. <laughs> like we're getting the worst of the worst now. They know like the alt right is involved and people are getting killed. Yeah, and, uh, they're like the, they're watching this match and they're just like. What? <laughs> Why well, are these men being killed? Oh. Especially because it's a, a Thai man and a, an African-American man. They're just wow. not happy about That's it. That's terrible. 
Uh, you know, I mean, that's that's the reality we have to face here in America in 2018. They they can't come if a man's life is not ended. <laughs> that's why they watch. <laughs> they can't. What about Kaizen? He's coming. Kaizen is coming. But he's uh, allegedly alive. <laughs> we don't know that. Maybe that's why he's not here. He's dead. Or he's coming. And he's like, why do I need to fight when I can, like, be this porn star or something? <laughs> I mean, he's a porn star. Shushai was originally an adult entertainer. Oh. Um, and he, you know, uh, his original name was, uh, well, his gym name was the Comes A Lot Gym. <laughs> really? And, uh, <laughs> yes. And uh, due to censorship issues, uh, it didn't come through. His gym was really upset about that, and he was kicked out. And he ended up uh, starting his own, and he really was into choo-choo trains, like a child. <laughs> and, uh, you know, here we are. Yeah, we, we, shy sh to train my gym. No, we should have we should have uh, warned Let Lou to uh, step away from the, the headphones while yeah. we discuss some of this. Cover your ears, buddy. Earlocks. <laughs> uh, snuff films are about snuffle up against buddy. Meanwhile, we're seeing another epic finals, like semi-final. Uh, this guy is definitely based uh, loosely. Luakau is definitely an inspiration for him. Absolutely. Well, he's trained in Thailand for for years. Oh. We were saying earlier in his first match, he's he's destroyed dozens of banana trees. I like the idea that a that a guy from Thailand has trained in Thailand for years. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> three. Yeah. Oh wow, Karate Hendrix wins. Karate Hendrix once again with that jumping karate kick to the back of the head. Props to Karate. Twenty wow. minutes. We've been yeah. seeing like what incredible fights you've been seeing all all night, all night. Ninety-two percent. Now Walsh. We gotta see if we can track down the busiest man in Super Chat to uh, say a few words. Oh my god, we do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've just come in to this, uh, please just let it be known that last week we saw Alex Thompson die. He, uh, well, well we could just go to it. We were having a sod death match. Dear Jesus. We were having a sod death match. And what happens here is he gets stomped in the dick a couple times. <laughs> and then Zoning Zang slams him. Now Alex Thompson in the white shirt and the jeans there, he's unconscious. Choking on the sod, we didn't know. These men fought for over 40 minutes with that Alex Thompson just laying there in the grass. Now Walsh, this is morally very dubious because Alex Thompson is a murderer. Yeah. It's not. It's... I mean, you know, I mean, you know, sledding initially checked on him, as you could see there uh, prior, but he didn't check on him for 40 minutes while he was laying there, face down in the sod, and, uh... You know, it, it's a somber thing. We had to... We are living in the wake of... You know, the the wall, Alex Thompson. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm upset over it. As we all should be. And now, uh, I, I'm hooking up Bike. Uh, he, he, want, he has something to say in our memorial. Of Alex Thompson, so I mean, maybe we can just if you guys can talk amongst yourselves about Alex Thompson for a second. Yeah, he's I, I mean, it's hard to say good things about <clears throat> a man who debuted for us. Uh, he was just, we were having a tournament, he was a guy in the crowd, he uh, we were looking for uh, somebody to fill in against uh, we had an Obi-Wan Kenobi cosplayer that needed an opponent and uh 
Alex Thompson went in there, beat the piss out of the guy, and Bike was like, I like this guy. Well, uh, it turns out uh, outside in the parking lot was his van uh, containing the bodies of his wife and daughter. Uh, he was arrested. Uh, it was a pretty quick trial. The community was just torn apart by it, just in shock. And Bike Bianche, ever the, I don't know, savvy businessman, decided to hire him because he put on a good performance. And uh, through a work release program, he only had to pay about 19 cents a day for his employment. Uh, and the guy they was brought a, him in. He was a hell of a dude. He was a fighter. Yeah. They brought him in, and we watched him hurt people. The confusing thing was he was brought in, and anytime he got close to major success, Bike panicked and sent out the fixers to essentially stop his momentum. Yeah. So it, it begs the question, why even have him in these opportunities in the first place? But again, Bike does not think too far ahead. He's, he's simply looking a minute in front of him and he's Well, he's reacting. a busy guy. And I want to bring that up right now, because before we go to Bike, we are contractually obligated to tell you that SDFL <laughs> is brought to you by Substitute Teacher Solutions Done the Bike Way at SDFL Highlight the on Twitter. The Bike Way. Bike at District 204 Edmund.edu. Bike uh, The Bike Way. A lot of the fighters here in SCFL are substitute teachers, and, and after recruiting so many, the local di school district recruited Bike to help organize the sub substitute teachers all around the, uh, the league. And then also keep in my mind that Bike does social media done the bike way at SFL highlights bike at district the 204 bike admin edu. the bike way he's he's only given out his password like two or three times <laughs> uh, live on air <laughs> <laughs> it's no one like a thing fired him so we're gonna go to uh bike's remembrance of the wall now <laughs> I, 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 the wall came from the, uh, the crowd, and I, and I just decided, okay, yes, you fight, and he fights well, and then I find out he kills his family, and I get him cheap, and I don't know if he was substitute teacher, but I have Hero Supreme and Ichabod calling me cuck, I am not a cuck, I am so busy, I, I, I talk to the substitute teachers, I get them to work. I fight. I'm my head hurts. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. God damn it, you lie! Oh uh, I what? Hero? Are you lying? Hero? No, no I, hero. I, I, no, you know I, I never call you a God damn it, I'm out of here. What? Uh, uh, I s I'm I'm just so tired. Please. I need help. I need money. I Oh. Mike, you can, uh, you, you, please, you, you, you can take the, the, the night off. You can, you can head back. What, why, uh, Mike, come back. I, 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 I want to ask Mike why he thought having a memorial show an idea. <laughs> he just, his whole <laughs> memorial was like how he was just busy <laughs> and he's tired and he's, <laughs> It wasn't and then, a memorial. And then Hero started yelling at him. Like, <laughs> and then, why was Hero set up? Why is there multiple cameras set up to like? <laughs> I don't. I'm confused. I am. This 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 operation. It's, you know, Hero at least recognized he had to go to the ring uh, to watch these guys. And keep in mind that that this is brought to you by Supreme Family Buick. Wait. What, what is going on? Why, Billy, why are, Billy why Supreme are, is supposed to fight computer gods. Why are Sanders and Jesus coming out? What the fuck? <laughs> Mike is so frazzled. He doesn't know what he, he's just sending he random out people out. People. The wrong men. <laughs> <laughs> this is. They think they're getting their title shot right now. Is this oh, a tag God. team match? Uh, if you look at a certain Google Doc, it says Jesus and Sanders. All right, that's all I'm saying. What? No. Yes. Versus Petrov and, and Federal tag titles. 
I'm like I'm looking at the cocktail napkin in front of me and it says Philly Supreme versus Computer Collins, number one contender. And then I'm looking Son of a next bitch. next below it says Jesus Dash Sanders versus Petro, Pietro Federal Tag Title. So uh, I mean honestly, actually, it was officially changed to Hero and Philly against Computer Collins and Weatherwalker. Um the problem is there's so many cocktail napkins going around, and they don't have any kind of revision dates or anything, so you don't know if you have the most up-to-date cocktail napkin. It's, it's yeah, I, I I, wonder if that means Philly and Hero are going to challenge for the tag titles tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, like, I... <laughs> I like that bike, like, runs away, and then... A, <laughs> the happens. wrong thing happens. <laughs> it's like this is. The I like that these guys are just going through. The, they're just like, yeah. Well, we'll just keep going. <laughs> like, the fight's the happening now. Sanders are fighting two of the toughest men in the world, and they're just like, whatever. This sledding watches on. <laughs> and then sledding has a match. Yes, yeah, sledding has is fighting in the next match against Ron Harris. <laughs> who has never fought, I don't think, period, yeah, let alone I, semi-professionally or whatever I, I've is. seen him backstage. He doesn't have... Oh, Very my God. Confused. He's just... Uh, he, I, he's going to wear his ref uniform, I think. If he has it. I don't even know what he has. God. Weatherwalker is a goddamn beast, and, and he's... This is... I mean, our main event is chaos. <laughs> this is that once again, you know, we you don't know what you're gonna get. Not even oh, show to show, or match to match, but really second to second. Card is subject to change. <laughs> Card is always subject to change. Yeah. And nobody's hurt. This is just. <laughs> He just sent the wrong guys out because he was so emotional. But, but you know, this is very much like Sanders and Philly to not question anything and to just walk out <laughs> quietly. They're, they're, they, think, they think this is their, their tag team title <laughs> shot. They don't know who the teams are. They, they don't pay attention. They're, they're, they're talking about hair care and like... It doesn't make sense that, that any time I've stepped into his office and said, Hey, Bike, can I? And he just said, I'm too busy. I am tired. And I just, I say, okay, and I walk off. <laughs> He's always maybe. talking about being tired. And I, I just... Okay, baby. I, I, I mean, maybe I, I should press the issue, but... The, the yeah. best, maybe the you best throw way to a pill at him. Just yeah. throw a pill at him and see what happens. He's so busy, he can't even have help. <laughs> it's the exact, uh, exact perfect way to say it. Sanders has a really nice fade. You know, he's really all about this. He takes care of it. He gets it done every week. I mean, to, to be fair, I, I've had jobs before where the person who was supposed to train me to help them do their job was too busy to train me, so I, I could never help them. That is the bike way. <laughs> <laughs> the bike way. <laughs> And, and we have we have suggestions about drugging our, our boss and, and making sure that he doesn't make mistakes because he's drugged and passed out. Oh no, Murph is really just negatively affecting Letlu in the chat room right now. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Letlu is going to get hooked on opioids, and then he's going to be a part and, of and the porn, opioid crisis. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> and, and and Jesus, I don't even know what else. Like, he's gonna read Ichabod's Twitter and learn about cuckolding and... <laughs> and... Look at Ichabod's likes and see all the porn. Jesus. Jesus. Let Lou fucks. I heard it on good authority. No, Whoa. I highly doubt that. With what? Ra like, like, what does he do? Penetrate his ramen? My god, look at... Uh, Computer Collins and Weatherwalker are... Such beasts! It's crazy that they're able to tag together. Uh, this is well, you know what? This was Philly is supposed to fight Computer next week uh, for the number one contendership, and uh, you know he was going to go out there with his uncle, and then of course there's some bad blood. I mean, uh, you know, Jesus has to be thinking about that too. 
Peter Collins killed his uh, his nephew. Oh my <laughs> god, I forgot about that. This <laughs> like is that's... such a heavy episode. I, I, well, I mean, Hero was talking about it earlier, you know? Well, let's let's bring him in here. C can you call Hero? They might as well, you might as well talk about this match. Yeah, he was supposed to be out here for this was supposed to be his match. Let's, let's see. Oh god, here he comes. God damn it, what the fuck happened here? Why did he send the boys out? This isn't, you know, what, <laughs> the boys. why did he send the boys out? This is, not, this is not what's supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be out here pounding the shit out of this guy. God damn it. You know, what What are, what are we supposed to do? You know what? Philly and I will fucking uh, trade with Sanders and Jesus. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll go well, challenge guess. for the tag titles. That's I all. I'll I guess do that, that shit. I'll do that. That, that means I'll you might challenge. be fighting for the title, which uh, I guess is, I guess better in in your overall supreme family teams uh well, yeah, you know, i mean philly and i could really do some damage but uh you know the boys the boys are in their shot uh, you know i guess if we win we give them a shot right away, i guess but wow then, yeah that's uh, but then weird. philly uh, philly's supposed to number one content i don't know i'm so confused i and then i have beef with fucking michael there you know i'm supposed to what happened to what happened to what happened to me why does uh, Ichabod get the first shot? You know what I mean. I'm supposed to get the shot. I'm are you are you saying you're still upset over Rope Gate? I'm fucking upset about that, and I'm upset about fucking the uh, pencil neck uh, Nazi boy that rob robbed me. You know what I mean? There are is anyone of your of the Supreme Family Gym in the Oh my uh, God! US, in the U.S. tournament? Oh, hero, I hero, yes, yes. Uh, Jesus uh, is hurt very badly. Got punched oh in the back of the head. Oh god, I gotta, I gotta. Uh, Jesus Christ. This Jesus. Kid. Computer Collins is trying He's to. He's done it again. He's done it again, this motherfucker. He's hurting my family. <laughs> Computer He's Collins hurt hurts another family. Supreme very badly. Very badly. Absolutely incredible. Uh, We'll go to. Hero uh, just tore off. I, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't look happy at all. What I'm, the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen. So we have the uh, next up. We have the referees are fighting now. Now explain this one to me, Walsh. Uh, last week we saw a Ichabod versus Bike for the world title in the cage with a special guest referee. That turned out to be Ron Harris. Now, yeah. I mean, what is going on here? Uh, dude, I who even knows anymore. I'm like, we just saw Jesus get flatlined in the fucking ring. Um, so these guys, uh, they're supposed to be, uh, I mean, because next week Ichabod is fighting Bike. He gets his rematch. Uh, but we have these guys, Sledding is going to fight Ron. Winner gets to be the referee in that match. And uh, I don't feel like either guy is, is inclined towards Ichabod. So I don't know if he's going to be happy about that. Uh, especially he's going to be upset because... Uh, I mean, this has been a weird night for them. Gene Green uh, did not move on in the U.S. title tournament. Um, Petrov and Federal Bell, I don't know who they're supposed to fight later. Uh, this is, things are going to be, things are going awry for the alt-right, if you know what I mean. But I guess the one, I guess, silver lining they would probably be able to find is this is just more uh, fodder for the lawsuit that, that Ichabod yeah. and, and company are constantly threatening with everything right. that happens to the alt-right you know the, the worst part about it is that they always kind of have a little bit of a point and uh a little bit of a point and that is that eats me that's eats us all up because we know deep down ichabod is kind of sometimes has a point even if he's the biggest piece of shit Murphy. are these guys fighting in their ref clothes they wow. are they really are leaning into like i want to be the ref and I guess that that makes sense because sledding. Why, why should sledding want to give that up? He's he's out here seventy percent of the night. There's Pika Forte. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of I have three referees. <laughs> <laughs> this is very odd to me that Ron Harris, he's avoiding sledding. He's never really fought before. There there he goes. His first punch. It's fascinating to see this. Uh, Murph in the chat room saying that these are dark times for the SCFL. Jessica, do you agree? It's certainly uh, interesting times. I mean, Bike seems to be timeline. Bike seems to be losing his grip on what's going on. I think, I think the the death of Alex Thompson has has affected him not necessarily in just 
a fact of mourning the guy, but just so much paperwork he's got to do now over so the much prison paperwork. system with, with any kind of lawsuits that are pending. He, he got this guy Ron Harrison for you know some for some reason, and now Ichabod's you know chirping at him even more. It's 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 such a chaotic time. I I think Ichabod, or I think Bike's gonna have a lot of issues going forward, and. And he's champion, so he's got a big target on his back, too. Right. He, he's yeah. defending against Ichabod no matter what this week. Yeah, or, or next and, week, I should say. And one of these guys is going to be the referee. And I, it's not Picaporte. I wonder how Picaporte feels about that. He wasn't even included in this decision. I mean, you'd think... Uh, I mean, on the one hand, you'd think Ichabod would feel Picaporte is a, a neutral third party, but he might be a... Uh, you know, blinded by his, uh, you know, any kind of racial malice he might have towards Pika Porte. So that's true. But everybody's blinded by everybody hates Ichabod. So it's, I don't think there's anybody that would be a favorable ref for him outside of his friend. It would have to be someone who's never been in uh, SCFL before. I mean, yeah, I don't. Not maybe, maybe someone like Kaizen could show up for him. <laughs> Well, you know, I think Ichabod is biased against people like Kaizen as well. Oh, absolutely. I'm just saying. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. He, I'm, I'm sure Kaizen may, you know, he, Ichabod would assume Kaizen's, you know, at least partially responsible for uh, some of the on <laughs> online media he consumes. Yeah, you know, he is really into anime and really into. Uh, I've been told by Ron Hentai, uh, you know, like Ron's really trying to study up on this oh, stuff, but. Uh, Ron looks really lost Study in the up. ring. Have you noticed this? He's yeah. Like, he's, he's, he's like really just like avoiding him. <laughs> he, uh, every time he goes for a move, he gets thrown or countered. He's not a good wrestler. Like this all. is, uh, and that's coming from a guy who's sledding really shouldn't be in the ring either. He's yeah. got a stroke in ring. What the hell? Like this is awkward as hell. We've seen a <laughs> night of amazing fights, heroics, and some disgusting things. We've, we've run the gamut of what's possible today in wrestling, be it technical, we've seen we MMA it. fights, you know. We saw a dead body dragged and pinned. <laughs> we saw a dead body dragged and pinned and then taunted. It, it was, and now we're seeing just this dude, he, he should not have worn his glasses. I don't know why he wore his glasses. He's, he's just desperate out there. Yeah, I, I think he, he has that mindset of you and him out with the glasses, would you? And uh, we've seen, yes, he would hit a man with glasses. I just think it's a shame that after seeing such great fights all night, now we're getting this weird, this weird shit. And keep in mind yeah. also, my guy is tearing in his up. belly. Uh, he is... I'm I'm still very concerned with Jesus. He's he just got knocked out, and then you know, uh, Hero. I get. Are they getting the shot at the tag champs, or or who does? Otherwise, who gets the? I mean, is this? Do we call in the fixers? Do we? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, do they so made event another sh do they fight the thought right again? Like <laughs> they just get annihilated by them. I'm I don't know what happens here. Well I think I think if the fixers are called then you have to you have to include uh, the newest uh, Dougie. In, yep. yeah, yeah, Dougie Middle. Dougie Jones. <laughs> D Dougie Middle. <laughs> I'm just you know, the man is disgusting. I mean, we've had we've had three men knocked unconscious tonight. I know. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Maybe he won't. Yeah, think xylophone he's the son of is. Christ yeah, then. there's xylophone is still in Alaska. He's definitely. Well, I mean, it would have to be letting Dougie then. I I don't know how would Xylophonus feel about that. Ten minutes gone. And letting Dougie didn't even have any kind of connection. I mean, Xylophonus yeah, was Zylophonus. making the inroads. Yeah, Xylophonus was the one trying to recruit Dougie. I don't know who. This is. This is a snafu. I know, there's so much, uh... The, the, the way that things work mix out... Up. The way that things work out in this league are just... Look at look at Ron just go down... Like, when sledding looks like a big, tough bully, you know there's a problem. This this man Ron could not small... crush, like, a flower yeah. in his hand if he wanted to. And not because he's I mean, sensitive, he's just... 
he's downing Ron with like a jab. Like <laughs> this man's never been hit before. You know, like he's <laughs> oh. jab and he just like falls down with a bloody lip. Like this is not I mean, This is this is I mean not to use Ichabod's terms, but this is a prototypical soy boy. <laughs> Um, yeah. Murph is calling for Hero to get the title shot. Oh, well, he needs this shot. Yeah, you know what? Hero, but here's the thing. So, because of all of this, Hero is now backstage watching Jesus be loading, being loaded into an ambulance. Um, the ambulance. And, and he's... How much emotional baggage does this man have to, to, to carry into the main event tonight? Can he pull it off? Can he look past all of this? I, you know, I feel like the Supremes are, uh, Jesus Christ, I mean, this is, this you is don't, dire. You don't really feel for the Supremes, because they, you know, they, they seem fine, they got the Buick, they got the sandwich <laughs> shop, they're, they're kind of brash, but at the same time... They're not bad people, though, they're not the alright. Well, it's also becoming just like this, well, you know, they, they have some learning to do in their lives, but it's also just sad at this point, it's getting... They, they like they're one of the royal families of the SCFL, and I don't feel like they're they're successful they're no, in the they're, ring. Well, but you know, I, I don't think I, I don't know. I, it's I don't think they're bad people. I don't think they're not wigwam, for example. You know, like people people seem to like the Supremes. Jessica, what do you think? Um, I mean. Oh God. The Supremes are an interesting group. Um, I mean, Hero's kind of abrasive. Oh, Ron just he, running into the turnbuckles. Yeah. I think he means well, though. I mean, for the most part, he still has, I guess you could call them sort of a awkward grandpa opinions at times. <laughs> he does. Uh, Philly? Philly, I, I, Philly I doesn't feel like express doesn't himself have, all that often. He doesn't have a personality. I've never really known him to, to speak much. About anything, cheesest. Uh, what can I say about cheesest other than he's not very bright? He's not very bright. Uh, he believes himself to be son of Jesus Christ, which um, is certainly an interesting concept. And then Sanders. I mean, he's he's another kind of innocently dumb guy. So which <laughs> another? Right, uh, that's why they walked super, out. They just walked out. In, in super Chat has plenty of innocent dumb guys. <laughs> they really do. Well, it's all just so poorly organized that they just take everyone's word for it backstage, and listen, everyone's listening to each other, and like <laughs> no one questions anything, and it's just a very uh, everyone wow, means. Wedding well. is really, really going on. Yeah, loud. look at this. He's really like. I, you know, I guess they're upset that Mike's win was tainted. I guess I don't really understand why he's <laughs> this upset. I don't. Sledding really... needs to make sure he doesn't o uh, overexert himself. He's he's definitely <laughs> yeah. got a lot of medical issues. This is terrible. <laughs> he's really hurting this guy. Uh, and I don't feel like sledding is even like upset or anything. I just think that it's like uh, God. I want to just win already. Because this Ron Harris guy is just like a slug. He's just laying there. <laughs> he, he's like, he's really like George he's Michael, to like him. in a fight. <laughs> like he's Arrested Development. Oh my god! Like the sledding keeps going up top and like dropping the elbow and like. Look at Ron Harris. He's just running away from sledding. I think that's our <laughs> second Arrested Development reference of the night. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> Oh, no. Everybody who joins the league. <laughs> what the hell? Ron is really backing away a lot. Like he's. I hope Ron Harris never fights again. <laughs> this is terrible. It's 20 minutes of this. I'm Listen to him like me. yell out as he tries to chop and run away. Like you can't chop on your back leg. This is terrible. <laughs> End it. This is, this is really about as bad as that Heather Hardy fight at Bellator. I didn't uh, see it. I didn't night. Oh, it's garbage. He's really no, afraid no of it. sledding. Like, uh, imagine being afraid of sledding Bianca, of all people. Maybe um, 20 years ago, sledding was the kind of guy you'd, uh... What, he'd bobsled into your leg or something? Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, he was still in a decent enough condition to be a an Olympic-level athlete. I mean, that's not nothing to sneeze at. He was an Olympic 
bobsledding alternate at the 96 Olympics. Those are the Summer Olympics. What does that even mean? <laughs> now, we have to take into question everything now. Atlanta. <laughs> what was he in Atlanta? <laughs> he, he went to Atlanta because maybe he was, like, the 20th best, like, yeah, but Belgian bobsledding bob team. Well, sure, but... I, that was he just hanging out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, he just Ron Harris kicks him in the nuts and runs away. He likes the vibe at the Olympic Village. <laughs> <laughs> he heard about all the orgies and he's just like, okay. Chudley think it's 72%. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. This is just... I feel like sledding shouldn't have to go here. Like, this is... Why is he <laughs> I think I think Ron's robo doping here. You know, he's making <laughs> sledding the man who's had all these heart conditions just keep throwing stuff at him. He's he's gonna instantly throw a, or shoot out a fireball and then, like drop sledding on his head head like fifteen times. <laughs> I think this is terrible. I think sledding farted or something. Hit him! <laughs> like, like he's wiping his nose. Oh, sledding. Maybe trying to tell us that Ron stinks, but I don't know. Ron does stink, but... I don't understand why sledding agreed to this. Pika Porte is shuffling <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> he's bored. Like, he's... I, I like that he's really active. <laughs> Alright, finally, mercifully, this is over. Sledding farts again. <laughs> Smells like mothballs. You can see him wiping the air from his face. Ron Harris is down on the ground, getting staff as we speak. Look at him, just he's pained. Piece of he's his glasses. Crying. He's crying. I can see it. He's crying. What a weird match. 78%. 78. Murph dropping the salt. Oh, wow. This. Thank you, Murph, I think. More action to come. And so <laughs> now we go into the main event. We think. We think. Between the tag champions, the alt right, and Philly Supreme versus Hero Supreme, I get. I mean, I they were all ready to go. I like. Is that what's going to happen? I guess so. I I guess so. What a what a bizarre turn of events this has been. And, and before we head into uh, the the, the the sadness uh we need to take one last look at alex thompson Why are we doing this? Why are we pretending that we care that this guy's dead? Yes, you deserve to die, and I hope he burns in hell. I, I, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Like, Bike ran away, sent the wrong guys out, and then his his dad <laughs> beat up some guy who helped him win the title anyway. Like, and now we're looking at this murderer and supposed to feel I don't know. bad about him. Uh, I don't. I, I'm 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 getting sick of this. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, what I do know is that the alt right. Are and I'm going, sick of the alt right. So. I really do hope they lose. It's true. But here we go. Philly, Philly Supreme and Hero Supreme versus the alt right. This is pretty wild that we're finally seeing because the alt right has like been kind of holding off from defending and then they beat up on the fixers. This is like their first legitimate title defense, I would say. They're kind of Well, they've been won. Yeah, yeah, but these guys are in their tracksuits. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, they they defended successfully against Torvald and Magomed, Ido and Esposito, and the fixers. Uh, and, you know, it is... It, 
it is impressive for three defenses, but I mean, we have other titles that have had, you know, five, three times as many, you know, title changes going on in defenses, and they, they simply refuse to fight uh, on a consistent level, which is, you know, fight. it's disgraceful. Um, wow. Philly coming out fast against Sledding, or, or against Federal. <laughs> I, I, I would like to say that Sledding is back as the referee here. And as Murph said, I mean, just I'm minutes surprised. later. <laughs> yeah, like, this is incredible. Why why did Sledding Bianca feel the need to beat on Ron Harris, Ichabod. Ichabod's brother-in-law, and now Ichabod is right outside the ring right now. And how does Ichabod feel about that? He probably liked it. This is a muddled mess of a... It really is. Right now. Like, it, this is... We have people hurt. We have people dead. We. This is. At what point is the experiment over? But oh god, these guys are slugging each other. The hell. This is. Michael. Michael, do better. This this twisted web <laughs> that we weave in this. Yeah. League, it's uh. Wow. Oh, there's a light bulb. Ichabod! Ichabod! Ichabod tossed the light! Jesus Christ. I mean, he has no empathy at all. These guys just saw a member of their family get knocked out cold. They've been back there with him, helping load him onto a goddamn ambulance. This is... Oh, wow! Petrov fell ass first onto the light bulb and broke it! Jesus, what an idiot. <laughs> Ichabod's probably talking shit. He just... Ichabod just threw another in there! Well, he really wants... He really wants them to use it. Not fall on it. Philly wearing that tracksuit. Yeah, he's trying to get all the life he can out of it. It's an ugly tracksuit, isn't it? Like, oh god. Philly falls onto the light bulb now. Supposed to be a hardcore match. This is. It's not. It's and not. I, I, and, and, and Ichabod's turning it into one. Well, we know sledding has no concept of what <laughs> a wrestling match has in terms of rules well, and uh, allowed yeah. and not allowed techniques or implements. <laughs> you know what? I, the evidence is piling up that sledding might be this weird <laughs> sadist. <laughs> that, like, <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, why is he letting people die slowly in the ring? I why mean, he's, he's um, suggesting that people fight on his, you know... Home renovation scraps. He's letting them be a warrior. This is basically he's I'm like this is the guy from Saw. <laughs> it could be. I'm fully expecting him to just be like, oh well, here's here's a collection of rusty nails I found. We can have a match on top of that. Terrible. <laughs> don't don't let them hear that because he will absolutely do that. Man, I hope Hero pulls this out. You're, Murph is right. The chat room likes the Supremes. I saw Generic saying it. I do want them to win. <laughs> I, I do. The, the alt right are such dicks. And the Supremes have been nothing but just through this horrible... This is this is a family that has been through a terrible ordeal. I don't know if you've looked at Hero's Twitter. Uh, you know, he's, he's trying... You know what? He might say some weird things sometimes, but he's not a, a bad guy. Uh, you know, he even though he likes Nancy Pelosi, I guess I don't really notice. Agree with that, notice how Sanders is not ringside to help no, balance. He's with his bro. Right, he's with, his bro. he's with Jesus. <clears throat> oh wow, Philly just goes right to work. Now, how interesting would it be that after all of the hype between Discussion Davis and Philly Supreme as a championship caliber tag team, Philly ends up getting this weird oh. They're brawling. That's They're brawling. Weird, it's weird, unexpected tag title match with his uncle. I mean, <laughs> I guess fam you, you know family better than uh, a guy you simply had fights with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in this match. Yeah. Right? I, I'm really confused and concerned about everybody involved. <laughs> Why is this match getting so hardcore? And, uh, oh! Sledding is just letting this happen. Yeah, he's... Uh, you know, he, he... I don't... Oh, Philly just took a heavy baseball hit to the head. Oh my god. Philly escaping Federal Bell. Jesus. This is terrible.
terrible. <clears throat> I mean, this is... I, mean, I can see letting it get a little out of hand because it's a title match, but... <sighs> I'm telling you, it's getting more and Sledding more dangerous. I think Sledding is starting to like what he sees when he lets people go further and further. Yeah, I mean, Murph's yeah. comment might be entirely accurate that Sledding's uh, explosion gear is his uh, BDSM gear. Oh god, that that is that well, changes that everything. Mean? Oh does god, we're gonna have like a. Tell me we're gonna have like a sex death or something. Yeah, like. it's got, like Sledding loves that scene from Seven. Like, oh, no. God. Wow, we we just saw uh, two of these. Crazy STO bombers in the corner oh. from the tag jams. This I mean, is a Uncle match. Hero. Yeah, Uncle Hero is, is not happy right now. Power the, the power bomb neck breaker. I mean, that that uh, Viano Four in WCW almost his career ended because of that. This has been a match. One, two, wow, two point nine. Uh, we'll Ichabod throws Who's... another another light bulb in there. <clears throat> like we need more weapons for that ringside. Federal Bell, he, he's having trouble keeping his pants up apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's he's trying, I guess. Oh, Hero with that diving fist to the dick of Federal Bell. Now, now Hero's got <laughs> right the... after pointing to his hand. You know, he's yeah. just like, just watch this. I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit his <laughs> dick with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> and he picks up a bat like an asshole. Like, I, you know, anything goes against these guys, though. This ain't no uh, stick ball, you asshole. <laughs> More like dick ball. Watch this. <laughs> Home run. <clears throat> oh. Wow, Philly saves it. Petrov comes in. Petrov is starting to sweat too, because those those Russian indictments are getting yeah. pretty interesting. I mean, maybe he wants to lose the tag title so he can like skip town. And the only way to defeat Petrov is with a uh, a Mueller kick. Oh, oh! Well, luckily, Philly is wearing that tracksuit because. This man keeps falling on glass. This is <laughs> it's not even supposed to be a match where that exists, and yet... This might be it right here. Oh, Philly, why isn't Hero coming in to save his nephew? I, I think he's just so shell-shocked. They saw Jesus just get punched in the back of the goddamn head. He, oh! He might, Philly! He texting Sam for updates. Philly! Wow. The uppercut! That's how we injured Discussion Davis! Uppercut. Oh my god, all of the anger in the world. We've got... Oh my god. Philly Back did it for Jesus! He did it! <laughs> my god! They fucking did it! The, but the alt-right loses! Uppercut. <laughs> Un I'm, sure, I'm sure there's gonna be an injunction filed. Un I'm... Philly Buick... Hero needed this. This is absolutely amazing. Murph, everyone's cheering. Chudley, generic, everyone is... This is one of the greatest nights in... in finally, there are no alt-right champions whatsoever. And they came in not expecting to win at all. Now, now Jesus is possibly in a coma. And Hero and Philly I mean, are the champions... Federal. Federal Bell might also be in a coma off that uppercut. That was a brutal uppercut. Wow. I'm blown away with what we <clears throat> saw tonight. Uh, wow. I'm... Jesus. I mean, it's it's Jesus. like a volcano. Out of, out of death comes new life. And, you know, t Alex Thompson died so that we may have new tag team champions. <laughs> wow. You're, you're absolutely right. And, you know, with that, with that point, let's... Let's, let's do a recap really quick, guys. I mean, well, actually, let's see here. Who? We've got a new scramble champion. 
Yeah, you saw the scramble champion. Fourth is the time. old champion. Scramble champion. <laughs> unbelievable. He's winning this belt. <laughs> the four this time champion. champion. You've it, got now the most dominant dot TV champion with ever. With one win. <laughs> with one successful actual defense. Freddie Fisher, incredible. So we we saw two incredible things in the first few matches. Chucky Murphy and and his tournament run. I mean, the, the fight with Gene yeah. Green was insane. Incredible. Uh, Gary Belay is the new shoot champion, so the, the Sons of Anger are kind of back on the upswing. Oh. We've got, we've got new hardcore tag champions. New possessors of the photograph. Yeah. Oh, well, that's remember, right. We also have potentially a new hardcore champion. Uh, Technology Cooper and Zoning Zang were fighting at, at this man's funeral. Um... I don't know. We have to. We didn't. We should ask Mike earlier before he ran well, away. Well, I'll, I'll bring. I'll bring those images back up. Uh, let's see here. I mean, we. I'm have... surprised you saved them. I mean, they were pretty gruesome. I'm just. I'm just kind of scrolling through them right now, <laughs> in backwards order. I mean, there we have <laughs> technology, pinning the dead body of Alex Thompson. It almost feels like a, a, a casket match where you know. Technology is pointing at the down man and is about to put him into the casket. Well, it's a reverse casket match because you have to take the the champion out of the casket and piss, pin him. So I mean, that was just just terrible. Like seeing technology and zoning Zhang at the funeral home. Uh, and then what did we see after that? Another incredible tournament block. Yeah. Karate Hendricks with his uh, jumping karate kicks really won, won the day. Yeah. And then, and then uh, a classic bike screw up. <laughs> Computer Collins and uh, I, I can't even remember who went out with him, to be honest. My, uh, uh, Weatherwalker. Weatherwalker. Weatherwalker, that's right. Uh, but that's Computer Collins. Tag. If that stays as yeah. a tag team, that's scary. I mean, honestly, people. I mean, the guys they were supposed to fight went on to win the tag titles tonight. Right. And then and I could, Collins I could heard see, another Supreme. This is... Yeah, I could see the Supreme family wanting revenge on Computer Collins. Absolutely. Yeah. It, well, for multiple reasons, because Computer Collins killed their other nephew. But here's the thing, then. <laughs> so if Cheezist is out injured, does that mean Philly is now a trios champion? No, I, I think if... I don't I mean, know what they're, happens they're, to the trios. They're, they're tag I'm, and trios champions. Supreme Beauty. I mean, wins. I'm all for freeword style rules. However, I can I, fully I, understand it being specific groupings of men. I, I mean, either way, either way, Hero has two belts. I feel like I, I feel like they need to vacate those titles, especially with Jesus Chart. Wow, I I I, I think freebird rule, as Murph says. And then keep in mind in the next match, I mean that's something to think about. There, there's a lot to think about for next week. And who who will be who will be the number one contender now? Well, all we know is that next week we're gonna have a rematch between Ichabod and Bike. But now this time, instead of Bike getting a fast count from Ron Harris, who hates Ichabod, <laughs> he's gonna dad. have his dad, who's already been in his favor, but like he beat the hell out of Ron Harris for the right to be the referee, but to do what? Be more impartial? I don't I, get it. I don't get it. I, Kaizen is coming though. I this doesn't tell. work out in Ichabod's favor, which I have no problem. I could tell. Yeah, it's it's Ichabod is in trouble. Um, it's we say your champion here, but now we can officially retire that he's done. The alt right is in a lot of a lot of trouble right now. You know, masked bike took off the mask, and now you have just this this. This wave of resistance, to put it no other way. And then so we then the we hashtag have hashtag resist. It, it really is. I have no idea, and who knew that Philly Supreme would become one of the resistance? So now uh, we're gonna go out on a couple of quick videos. Walsh, Jessica. Wow. Uh, uh, thank, thank you for not challenging either of us to fight tonight, Jason. Well, I'm no, just. I know, know tensions ran pretty high with uh, with everything going on, but we we all remained composed and collected. Yeah, you know, sometimes uh, you're too busy to ask for help, and sometimes you're too busy to fight. <laughs> and uh, everyone loves each other, 
because this is Super Chat Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Wow. We are all one, as Genki Sudo once said. Thanks yeah. so much, chat room. Thanks for watching. I know that at times tonight it was sad, it was scary, it was weird. We saw some highs, we saw some lows. <sighs> and mostly we, we laid Amanda what rest. A night. So what a night indeed. Yeah. Well, good night, Jessica. Good night, Walsh. Good night, yeah. Jason. Good night, wow. Dave. Good night, Murph. <laughs>